Welcome to my birthday party! <laughs> Welcome in everyone. It's Simply Stream Saturday. It's a launch day. It's my birthday! It's my birthday party! Thank you for coming. Thank you so much for coming. And also thank you to Shopify for sponsoring my birthday stream. We love birthday presents. More on that one later. Thank you Menchie Gang members. Thank you mods. Thank you everyone in the chat. Uh, damn, what, what's happening? Is it Saturday or is it Wednesday? <laughs> is this all a game? <laughs> Welcome everyone, it's, it's, um, it's happening, it's happening. I'm getting another year older. And I'm gonna celebrate by making myself a nail polish. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much. I'm reading all your chats, every single one of them. My reading speed actually gets better with age. That's what they call streamer training. <laughs> Thank you guys. So if YouTube is working, then I will go through member chats later or cause like the tool should have been fixed by now. So just in case I'm not reading it, I apologize in the interim, but uh, okay, let's go through business stuff. First, first things first. My birthday begins in 24 minutes. No, the new products from Holo Taco, which is my birthday shade, Menchi and Xyler shades as well, because they're joining me this year. And the new nail oil pen. Ah! I can finally say it's actually coming out. It's real. It's not a lie anymore. It's coming out in 23 minutes. So that'll all be on holotaco.com. You know where to go, but in case you're new here, put a one in the chat if you're new. If you're like, what corner of the internet is this? <laughs> or you're just like, simply, I haven't seen you in years. Are you the Troom Troom girl? Put a one in the chat. Or are you the Polish mountain lady? Yeah, you put a one in the chat. I see some ones, I see some 999s. I know what that means. I see some 69s. Come on guys, are, are, are we still 12? We're not 12 anymore. I'm turning 35. What? <laughs> I see some hundred thousands. <laughs> Either way, whether you're new or just really old, really or old into the Simply Lore or a long time Holotaku customer since 2019, it's good to have you here. This is my birthday party. Well, my birthday is actually the 17th, but whatever. This is the closest approximate weekend stream celebration. So that that's what we're doing. So I hope you got some tea some tea or champagne or whatever birthday drink you like and celebrate with me. And fun fact, recently we surveyed Holo Royalty members, which is the top tier of our customer loyalty program at Holo Taco, and just like asked them what in what month they were born. Just like random question that like, you know, would amount to nothing presumably. And uh, a slight majority was October. And I was like, am I biasing our customers? Like, am are more of our customers born in October because I am? <laughs> or are they more likely to respond to the survey because they share a birthday month with me? <laughs> like, that's so weird. No, I know that's not true, but just imagine. So shout out to other October birthdays. This is for you too. Octobers are in the chat. Let's see it. If you're an October birthday, throw it up in the chat. It's the Libra energy, yeah. <laughs> I'm a Libra. I weigh all my decisions carefully, okay? including when to launch the nail oil pen, which I will explain later why it took me three years. But here we are and it's finally here. Okay, let me go through some quick business. Uh, in case you're new here, in order to chat, you do have to be subscribed to the channel. Subscribing is free. It's not the same thing as a membership. To use the special emotes that you're seeing, like the Xyler party, the simply giant face, or whatever other silly things that the Menchie gang members are using, like that one, <laughs> the cats ones. Um, then you need to be part of the Menchie Gang, and we have a wonderful number of people have already seen gifting memberships. Thank you so much to all the membership gifters to get into the Menchie Gang, which is just something that I've been doing on stream, and every month we, we aim to make a donation where part of the proceeds go to charity, and then I share that with you guys. So that's been really fun to do on a monthly commitment basis. And yeah, you get to sync your YouTube to your Discord, you get a special Menchie Gang role in the Discord. So it's good to see all the members in the chat. They have green names. Shout out to the mods. Can I get some mod love emotes, please? 
Our mods are absolutely wonderful. We have a new mod on board, Casey. Not to be confused with Katie. Thank you, Nintendo, for 10 gifted memberships because of you, because of Ben. Ban! 10 of you get to come to the bonus Menchian live stream, which will be at the end of the month. I do an extra one every month just for members, just to spend more time with you and to be able to answer your questions a little bit better. Uh, and so, sorry, the mods are wonderful. We do have a new mod, Casey, on board, so welcome her in. This is her first Holo Taco live stream. And as a friendly reminder, our mods are not Holo Taco customer service, so please do not ask them where your order is. <laughs> they will not know. Do not ask them any questions like that. That's not what the chat is for. The chat is just for sharing your enthusiasm, letting us know what you're picking up, and just like having a good time. That's what the chat is. So keep the chat a good time. If you need Holo Taco customer service, please reach out to them directly. Support at holotaco.com. So we go live at 1130. I'm gonna show you the polishes and the nail oil pen as quickly as possible, but just wanna do a couple other quick reminders to sign into your rewards account before you shop. At Holo Taco, we've had a rewards program for Almost two, was it been two years? No, a year, year and a half, something like that. And um, you can get points for whenever you buy something and make sure to redeem whatever you've been wanting to redeem if you're waiting for your order. So just make sure you do all that and make sure you check your order information, check your address, make sure everything looks good. Okay, Th thank you. I'm doing customer service in advance. I'm trying to make sure your order is correct. You've redeemed whatever you want. You're signed into your rewards account. If you're using our wish list feature, go ahead and sign in now. Add the stuff from your wish list to your cart. It's really easy. We have that new wish list feature where you can just hit add everything to cart at once. So if you've been looking to pick up like the down to earth crumbs, which were recently restocked or any last lingering items from Sophia's collection that are still here, then you can go ahead and put that on your wish list because carts can disappear, but your wish list will stay. I'd like to give a huge shout out to the entire Holo Taco team and the warehouse. Shout out to the warehouse, who's gonna be busy after this launch. And respectfully, please do know that on large volume orders or large vol volume launches, sorry, like this one, fulfillment time will can take up to eight to 10 days. So please be patient while they pack your order with care. And we appreciate them so much. Shout out to Holo Taco customer service who will be assisting anyone who has an issue with their order. They are absolutely wonderful. Please be kind to them. And please, if you can, maybe get your your answer ordered, your answer ordered, <laughs> your question answered anywhere else just from looking at our FAQ, then that's always wonderful. Oh, uh, restock notice, the display rack is back. The Holo Taco display rack, if you've been waiting. So that's back. So don't forget to add that and anything else to your cart that you've been looking for if you wanted to group it up with your order because they will not be able to make changes to your order after because this is an incredibly busy period. So just huge thank you to everyone at Holo Taco. Our team is amazing. We've pulled, up, pulled off so much stuff lately and it's just been going really well and we're really excited to see how you guys you you receive it and you're like so excited so can't wait to see what you think okay so launch happens in 17 minutes do you want to see the polish do you want to see what we're launching happy birthday to me nail polish for three <laughs> Three new limited edition magnetic polish in custom cartons. Look, look what we did. We made it special with custom cartons. This is for my birthday. And let me just show you this. Okay. Look at those cartons. They're so pretty. We'll talk about the packaging first and then the nail polish, but wait, there's more. It's a cat. Just like OG, Menchi, and Xyler, these Menchi and Xyler magnetic polishes have a cat on the side. So when you put the boxes together, they make a kitty. Mine, mine is not a cat, even though I am a cat sometimes. But there you go. These cartons are meant to represent the magnetic stripe of the cat eye because these are cat eye magnetics. I've been so inspired by my cat's eyes over the last few years. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make nail polish based on their eyes. So I'm gonna show you through the little window and then we'll unbox them. 
So in case you don't know what a magnetic polish is, magnetic wand, you get one free wand with any order of a magnetic polish. If you buy the bundle, you'll get a wand. You buy the, the big perfect party bundle with nail and everything, you'll get a wand. So you don't need to worry about buying extra wands unless you want extra wands. Ready? Magnetic polish. Woo! Here, let me open them up and I'll show you better. But magnetic polish uses a magnet to attract the pigments and it creates a line. So let's unbox. This one is Menchi Cat Eye. And I'll show you one thing, what we did that's new. On the bottom of our, mag of our new magnetics, it now says magnetic at the bottom. So now you can know which shades are magnetic. So we made that improvement with this launch. Smart, yeah? Let's go ahead and open the others. This is Xyler Cat Eye. A gorgeous copper. And we're gonna go through all the colors and like exactly the composition in the YouTube video when that shows. But I just wanna show you right now. And that's my shade, which is called Cool Cat Mom. <laughs> That's me, I'm the cool cat mom. <laughs> We're all a little cool cat mom inside, right? Statistics show that people who paint their nails are more likely to have a cat than the dog, it's true. I did a survey, so I have the data. I'm the statistics taker. <laughs> so let me just show you magnetic polish again. So with magnetic polish, this one in particular has like a metallic sage green stunning finish and you're gonna shake it up. They are all, three of them are magnetic. And then once you've shooken it, you paint it on your nails, I'm just showing you in the bottle. And then you take the wand and it pulls the pigments together to create what is called a cat eye effect if you use this side of the wand. So you can also use the circle end of the wand to do like, you know, like an orb or something, like a moon. Right? Okay, and then here's Xyler's. So Xyler's is a stunning copper, really bright, warm, orangey copper. And then let's take the wand. And when you do this, not only do you see that beautiful line and it kind of deepen and you see the, the copper shimmers on the side, but these three polishes are different formulas than our original magnetics. I feel like we improve them, but they also have different add-ins that make them really unique and special that you need to, like in the macro footage, you'll be like, oh my God, what? We really wanted to speak to the spirit of the cats and try and do something a little bit more interesting so that when you pull this magnetic line, you actually see more types of pigments appear. So if I zoom in, see how it's like a beautiful golden sage metallic color. There's also scattered hollow in it. And then when you do the magnetic pull, on the sides, you see green iridescent shimmer pop, which gives it like a stunning sparkle that really speaks to Menchie's eyes and you'll see in the video, right? So it's a different type of magnetic than our previous magnetics that had more of um, the color flare, but then it went much darker on the sides and it had micro hollow flakes. This has a different type of base. It's generally lighter, I would say, like these two shades are lighter. We'll do comparisons and everything later in the stream. But the, the point of these ones was to kind of match my cats, right? So that's Xyler Cat Eye, that's Menchie Cat Eye. And mine, Cool Cat Mom. What color is this? <laughs> what color is this nail polish? We'll do a poll later after you see all the pictures. It has blue reflective glitter in it. That's what those bright blue things are. Reflective glitter is activated by a specific angle of a light, like a stop sign at night. Everyone in the chat is saying orange. I know you're from the Discord. <laughs> but my birthday shade is like crazy. It's, is it pink? Is it purple? I don't know. Let's, let's take the magnet to it. It's navy blue and pink. So you could see that in the footage that we did earlier today. And I'm wearing it on this hand. It's got royal, it's a royal blue base with a pinkish 
magnetic stripe and it has blue reflective glitter that you'll see in direct angles of the light. It, and it has scattered hollow. It's, it has a lot going on there. It's just so pretty. I love this one. It's different than these ones. It's not exactly the same because these ones have iridescent shimmer that complement the base color. And this one has blue reflective glitter that goes like Phew! And it's magnetic effect has like the opposite color effect where it's like a pink stripe versus a blue base. These have a similar tone on their stripe intentionally to look more like a cat's eye. Woo! I realized I didn't drink water today. Please stay hydrated. Speaking of hydration, did you oil your nails yet? Ah! Okay, wait, wait, hold on. When are we launching? I gotta just, what time is it? No, we still have time. We still have time. It says nine minutes. Okay, okay. We can keep going. We may proceed. Just checking. Okay. We are finally launching our long-awaited nail oil pen. I know a lot of people are like, oh, I thought you already launched it. No, we did not. We, no. <laughs> we, we'll talk later. <laughs> this is our new nail oil pen. And it's a cartridge system where you can purchase cartridges from us as the refill solution. So when you buy one pen, you get a pen component and the cartridge component. And if anyone's like wondering, just like the bundle, the bundle is all three polishes, one pen unit with a cartridge and two refills. So the party pack bundle, the everything bundle, you get this. So you get like three cartridges with a pen unit. And if you buy the pen alone, you do get a cartridge. So you never get an empty pen, if that makes sense. Okay. This was after like years of engineering, years of research and all this stuff. So I'm very excited that it's finally here. And this is how it works, okay? It's the easiest thing you've ever done. No complications, zero mess, ready? Pop off the cap, that's the leak protector. This is where the oil is gonna come out once it's in. You take your pen, see how there's a window so you can see what goes in there. You insert into the slot. There's a little divot there and you'll notice little divots on the side of here to line it up. I kind of just like, whatever, just put it in and then guess. And then you'll, you'll hear it click and then you're gonna prime it. Uncap the pen, it's hollow. <laughs> it's hollow, it had to be. And then the first time you use it, you'll need to prime it a little bit more, like probably like, I don't know, 10-ish clicks. The priming will be the first, like the only work really you have to do. Um, but it's just to get the oil flowing through. And when you first get the brush, the brush has a little bit of a glue coating just to protect it in shipping and make sure it stays straight. So just kind of break it in a little bit and then it fluffs up. Uh, by priming, I mean pumping the end of the pen because a fresh cartridge is sealed. And by pumping it, there's actually a mechanism in there that will prime the pen for the first time so that the oil will start coming out smoothly. And that was like an effort to not make it leak the first time uh, you get it. But here, I'm just gonna prime it there. Okay, so now it's primed. So that was probably like 10 to 15. And then you just go ahead and oil your nails. And then the next time I go to oil my nails, I do not need to click it 10 times. I only need to click it once. This pen is extremely effective. You don't need to click it 20 times. Maybe just in the beginning, that's it, to prime the new cartridge. But from here on out, I just go like this and I just like would click it once and that'd be enough for five nails on average. Maybe once, maybe twice. That's it. Okay, now I have oil everywhere. Cause I was just like, I didn't really, I wasn't intending on like oiling up my nails cause they're already oiled. <laughs> That's it. And then you can cap it and you can see how much oil's left in your cartridge from our little window. See, it looks like a level. Now we can measure things. That's it, simple. And then when you're out, you can, if you can see that your window's out, you just go ahead and twist it out. Oh, oh, I didn't even mention, there's an on and an off before I take it out. We're trying to do this super quick. There's an on and an off. So you can twist it off if you want it to stop flowing out. You should take the residue out of the brush, like whatever's caught in the brush, but you can flip it to off if you don't want it to keep flowing through because the oil will flow. This is like oil that is like more liquidy, you know what I mean? 
but you can take it out too. I said you can take it out. <laughs> I'm too oily now. There. So you, oh, my music stopped. Sorry, hold on. Let me just go back. So you would take this out when it's empty and then you put in a new one and then the process is the same. You just snap the new one back in. Just pretend that was a, an old one. Easiest pen solution ever. I am too oily. I know. <laughs> now I have to touch all the nail polishes again. And I'm really excited to bring you this solution after much research and work went into this system. So the idea is that you keep the pen and you get new cartridges in order to refill it. So instead of, of tossing the entire pen, it's just the cartridge part. And we did much research and our goal was to make this easy for people to use and to get started. And research shows that if something, a routine is not easy or convenient or approachable to people, then they just won't start it. So I'm really excited to bring you guys this pen and have people actually start their nail care routines. Let's go, you. It's time to oil your nails. <laughs> this is how you're gonna get your, your nails feeling better, looking better, make them supple, make them stronger and longer if that's something you're looking for by, by having nail oil that hydrates the nail plate in the most effective way. It's a very simple formula. You'll see the ingredients list on the website. It's just jojoba oil, vitamin E, and plant-based squalane. That's it. There's no scent. It's fragrance free. Very simple solution and a simple, easy to use thing. Okay, three minutes. Oh, I gotta wipe my hands off. And I have a video, don't worry. I know it's, that, that was like the quickest run through ever. We could go through more information on it. I'll tell you more about like why you should oil, oil your nails. Blah, blah, blah. Say the word oil 10 times, it's really tough. And I have Ben as a model <laughs> in my video. <laughs> Uh, oh, how much is it? It is 3.5 mils is each cartridge. Okay, let me just uh, take a look at the website. Okay, we, we're still here, we're still here. Let's go. I also, give me a second, merci beaucoup. Yeah, oil your nails. Wear your hand cream. <laughs> you're gonna take, you're gonna start taking care of your nails. I'm looking right at you, you. I know maybe once you bought oil, maybe you started a DIY nail kit and then you just, you stopped. You got lazy. You were like, I, I don't I don't wanna set this up. I don't wanna do this anymore. You have no more excuses because <laughs> we're finally releasing it. <laughs> Who, me? You are called out, yes. I, I saw it. Someone ran a poll in our Facebook group. Actually, I think it was my uh, my shorts editor asking people how they like whether they oil their nails. And the majority said they don't because they bought it. They got lazy. They couldn't figure it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is for you. Oil your dry nails, people. What are you doing? <laughs> Apologies in the chat. I see. I'm sorry, Christine. <laughs> I feel attacked. 6,000 watching? Damn. Okay. One minute and 50 seconds. Remember to log into your Holo Taco account and get whatever else you're picking up. Uh, get your, if you have a birthday this month or if your birthday code already came, go ahead, use your birthday codes, get your rewards, whatever it is. Get, get some free stuff. I'm guilty. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go over here. And right after this launches, I'm gonna walk you through the video that's also launching on the Holotaka website about the three new magnetics. We can talk more about magnetics and how they work. We can show you some comparisons. I can answer more questions. We can talk about the nail oil. It's live. Oh. Woo! Be a cool cat. Happy birthday to me. It's live, everybody, it's live. Stunning, okay, ready? We've got the perfect B-Day party pack. So that's everything I just discussed, the three new magnetics and the new nail oil pen and two extra refill cartridges and the magnetic wand. 
Or if you're just interested in the nail polishes, we have a trio with a bundle discount, you're welcome. And of course, you can purchase everything individually. It's always important to me that if you just wanna pick and choose, you can do that too. But we like to make a bundle discount for people who are just like, just give me everything and give me a little bit of a discount. And since it's my birthday, you get a discount at all bundle levels. <laughs> there you go, we normally don't discount if it's like limited edition stuff and there's only three in a bundle, but happy birthday to me. We got cool cat mom, Menchie cat eye, Xyler cat eye, the nail oil pen with band, and then the replacement cartridges. Oh, and, and we have the thick width replacement brushes unassembled now at a cheaper amount. So you can get more brushes for less if you're looking to do that. And, uh, oh yeah, so the rest in pieces, the bundle sold out, but we just have a small amount of cracked taco and glow, but probably not if I actually check the inventory. Um, but yeah, this is the birthday launch, let's go. Okay, so let me know in the chat what you're picking up. Are you getting the whole perfect B-Day party pack? The feline family magnetic trio, the cool cat mom, which is my birthday shade, Benchy cat eye or Xyler cat eye. And if I hadn't mentioned it already, all the birthday shades, the magnetic polishes are limited edition, but we will consider if people really like the cats, we might consider keeping the cat shades uh, in stock a little bit longer, but my birthday shade, Cool Cat Mom, is, is and will always be limited edition while supplies last. Nail oil is here to stay. If we did sell out of nail oil, we would restock it. You got the party pack? I got the bundle, woo, let's go. The whole bundle, the whole freaking bundle. Oh, I didn't even pull up the map. Let's look at the map. Chat is the map. I didn't go at the right time. I should have done it two minutes ago. Okay, let's see everyone. This is you guys. Is this a family trip? Is this a family trip? Should we go around the world? <laughs> Woo, let's go! You're in line to check out? There's a checkout line? Oh my God. I guess it happens sometimes. It happened last time, it depends. If the website has a really high volume of people on it, then Shopify <laughs> will introduce like a checkout line system. It just happens in, in like small bursts to, to manage the, the store. You got the display rack? Yes, display rack is back. Don't forget to add things that you've been looking for. I was in line for a little bit, yeah. Got the bundle. I got the bundle, Crackle Taco, Xyler the Cat, Glossy Taco, woo, let's go. Got the bundle, let's go. Okay, should we tour the world? Let's see. What up, Europe? What up, UK? How's it going? I see you guys ordering. So the the blue dots are people on the web store and then the purple are orders being received and dispatched. It kind of goes in bursts and it just shows you that like the system has to take time to like catch up to all of it because you guys are crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Let's go see Australia. Who's awake? <laughs> like no one. There's no one over here. I see a few of you. There you are. Okay, I see you. Who's this? Who's this? Who are you? Identify yourselves. <laughs> All right, woo, let's go. Okay, now the system is kicking in. Thank you guys so much. That's crazy. Ah! <laughs> let's go. Happy birthday to me. All right, okay, the warehouse has some work to do. <laughs> we love them, shout out to the warehouse who's literally looking at the orders coming in right now going, okay, <laughs> okay, okay, here we go. All right, let's let's um, let's put that away for a minute. All right, okay, let's watch the video. I think, yeah, oh, my birthday has begun. Let's take this off. 
And let's watch the Hollow Taco video because I'm going to use that to walk you guys through the collection. And actually, before I do that, before I do that, I'll give you just a quick agenda that I failed to do earlier. This is what we normally do on launch streams in case you're like, what's going on? So I showed you the nail polishes, did like the quickest thing ever before, but you did see them. Um, website has gone live. We saw where everyone was shopping from in the map. Now we're gonna watch the Holo Taco YouTube launch video. Then we're gonna go into the listings and look at some more of the pictures, read some of the descriptions, and then we can talk about the magnetics, how to use them, what, how do they compare to the other shades? What do they look like on magnetized? I'm, I'm prepared with my swatch wheel, I got you. And then we'll talk about the nail oil. I have a video that's more in depth that will show the nail oil assembly and some other good stuff. So I'm, I'm gonna share that with you guys on stream. It's currently an unlisted link, but uh, it is public, but it's just not up because we'll officially publish it tomorrow. But I wanna walk you guys through it and answer any questions you have. And then I think the Holo Taco detectives like made me an executive summary. So we're gonna check that out, see how they did with this launch, okay? And then there could be bingo, because I think the Simply Discord made a bingo, right? So we're, we're gonna play bingo at the end. If you're wondering where that is, it's in the Simply Discord, probably in the Simply React channel. It's probably pinned and you can go ahead and play bingo with everyone there today. And then I believe we have a birthday surprise from Ben. I don't know what it is, but he told me to be surprised. And it's not Skelly in the hat, something else. Also shout out to our Discord mods who are managing a bunch of crabs right now. Don't ask. Okay, let's go ahead and watch. Why is this showing? <laughs> I just don't want it to show when I'm playing this. <laughs> Maybe because it's simp, like simply. <laughs> okay, ready? Get ready to dance. Benji! So the cartons are limited edition. So let me just go back for a second. Inspired by Menchi and Zyler's eyes, we have my birthday trio. This was not inspired by my eyes, but you know, close enough. Zyler Cat Eye, Cool Cat Mom, and Menchi Cat Eye. They look absolutely stunning together, or just, you know, wear them alone. Magnetic polishes form a cat eye when you use the rectangle part of the magnet in the most basic way. Some of you have already used magnetics, but I'm gonna show this again more in detail for those of you who are like, I don't understand, or I need a refresher. But the magnet itself activates the pigments, which create a pattern, and then it just looks really cool. It looks like you have a line on, on your nails. There's a bunch of other, oh, what is, this is new, Ben. Look, popular, 50 views from clicking the link. And what is this? I've never seen this. Guys, we're popular! <laughs> I guess when you click the, the product shopping list uh, listing directly from YouTube, <laughs> then it tracks that. Interesting. Okay. Damn. Thanks, Susan. So magnetic polishes are activated by a magnet that pulls the pigments into a pattern. There's a bunch of other patterns. There's like different magnets on the market. But for this one, I really wanted to just focus on the linear cat eye portion to because I was inspired by my cat's eyes. So it's the easiest way to use the magnet, in my opinion, is this way. In limited edition collectible cartons with the cats on the side, and we've got mine, which is like a pinky purple kind of gradient. It looks really cool, it matches the polish. This one was hard, cause like, we still don't know what color it is. So I'm gonna pull you guys in a bit. 
and the launch of our long-awaited nail oil pen. Let's go! So magnetic pigments create the shape of the magnet. They mimic it. And you can also use the circle side if you want like a half moon shape. There's Xyler Cat Eye, a warm orange copper magnetic polish. It's got a pale copper magnetic stripe. It also has scattered hollow micro glitters and red orange iridescent shimmer. That's a lot. <laughs> that, that, she's packed. I mean, he's packed because he's a cat, but. <laughs> and it's inspired by the majestic orange flicker in his eyes and his rich orange coat. I am aware his eyes are like kind of hazel for a cat, if that makes sense. Like they almost go yellow or green sometimes, but then they can lean orange in some lighting. So that's what I wanted to lean into. So it also felt more different from Menchie's. But to me, Xyler is like the copper cat. And I just thought this shade with the red orange shimmer was so stunning and spoke to his like inner, inner spark. You know what I mean? Like his inner wisdom. <laughs> He's a wise kitten. So first, always shake up your magnetic polishes to evenly distribute the pigments. And then the best hack I have for you is to lay down the magnet and put your finger on top. You gotta paint a pretty thick coat because if you paint too thin of a coat, there's not enough pigment for the, the magnet to pick up on. It needs to be like wet enough for it to like actually go like, blue. I have room to like go like this in, you know what I mean? It, it has to be thick enough. So that's like one th a piece of advice if you've struggled a little bit with magnetics is to make sure that it does pick it up. Rest in peace, chameleon coat. Did she really sell out? Don't, don't play me like that. Woo! <laughs> She's gone, right? Oh my God, this is another celebration. Let's go to the retirement rack. Oh, where is she? Is Chameleon Coat really gone? I forget which page she's on. <laughs> this is the real, everybody please hold. Wow, wow. I'm sorry, we've paused my entire birthday party. You were here when Chameleon Coat finally sold out. Go ahead, send your best wishes. <laughs> Cause she's never coming back. <laughs> Woo! The best birthday wish I ever could have gotten. R.I.P. We loved her. Okay, anyways. So paint a thick coat of magnetic polish to see the stripe a little bit better. And you see I have my finger directly on the magnet. This is easier for some people because then you don't have to hover. Cause like you can also go like this, you know what I mean? To like pull the pigment, but then some people kind of smack their nail or some people move it around too much. So just like painting with your finger directly on it is easier for most people, unless your fingers are really thick and your fingers too thick that the magnet can't pull through it. <laughs> then you probably have to use the like hover on top method. And the magnetic stripe will form parallel to the way that the, at least our square, uh, or sorry, our rectangle end of the magnetic wand is. So you can see it starting to form like that. So that's how you know what angle you wanna put your finger at. If you put your finger like completely straight up like that, then the line will go straight up and down through your nail, which you could do that if you want. Most people like the aesthetics of the cat eye sideways on the nail. That's how I personally prefer it. But you know, you, you can rotate it to change which direction. Just try not to rotate it while you're painting. Like pick one spot and keep it and hold still. So you wanna let the nail polish dry with the magnet powering it so that it, the line stays. If you pull your nail away too fast and the nail polish isn't dry enough, then the pigment will start to disperse and the magnetic effect will fade which is another hot tip for, for anyone who's struggled a little bit with magnetics. And also here, you can see the shimmer coming through on the opposite sides of where the stripe is. It's really pretty. So that was one coat. I'm mostly dry, so I'm gonna go ahead with a second coat. I find these are pretty good coverage, but I recommend two to three coats, two thickish coats is probably enough. 
and then always lock it in with a glossy taco and magnetize on the top coat to help seal in that effect. Because even when you re wet it with the glossy taco, it could cause dispersion. Xyler is so sophisticated, so fancy. I love this shade. Mm, such a warm, cozy. This is what a good fall shade too. Xyler is just an icon for fall. Xyler the cat in his original orange glitter. Eve bought the last chameleon coat. Eve, there you go. <laughs> um, but yeah, th this shade has just like a stunning dark antique copper, but it also has that kind of light, like molten copper look. I just think it's stunning and it looks really good unmagnetized or the 3D dome effect. So the 3D dome effect is less obvious. Ooh, but that's pretty. And you do that just by holding the magnet or er, parallel to your nail. You can also wear magnetic polishes unmagnetized. So I just wanna highlight that for people who are like, you know what, I like the way magnetics look, but I'm just like, I know I'm not gonna do it. You can just paint it on normally. And these shades, specifically the cats, because they have this like gorgeous metallicness to them, look stunning on their own. So I've painted them here on their own as well, but seeing it on the nail looks better because sometimes when you paint metallic on plastic, it like looks less reflective for some reason. But this is absolutely stunning even when it's unmagnetized and you're still gonna see a little bit of the shimmer and the scattered hollow and that kind of molten copper color. And uh, the way to interpret this is the color that you see in the stripe is closer to the color that will appear if you just paint the whole nail on mag and don't magnetize it. Does that make sense? Like this inside color here is kind of what the whole nail looks like if you don't paint with the magnet. It's glowy, yeah. What's this, just for fun? A double Xyler combo. <laughs> I don't know, I had to. <laughs> Okay, Menchi Cat Eye, sage green magnetic polish, pale white gold magnetic stripe, scattered hollow micro glitters, and green iridescent shimmer that's inspired by Menchi's eyes. Can I just, look, no Photoshop needed. She's just absolutely stunning. Look, she's got like a little piece of hair here too. She's just so beautiful. So you know we had to do it. She has her baby pink hollow and now she has her sage green that has like a golden undertone glow to it. A stunning magnetic polish. Oh, the complexity in this shade is so wonderful. Oh, ah. It's much, it's softer. It's very like kind of springtime almost. It has so much dimension to it. And I really wanna highlight, let me just go back. Do you see like the, the depths of the bottle, like the sides deepen, but they don't go dark. Like our original magnetics were more of that like color and then dark version of it formula. This still has color, but like two tones of, of a color, if that makes sense. And it, it has this like stunning sparkly green where the iridescent green really comes out on the sides of it, beside that like sage greenish goldish line. And there's just something about it that's just like, wow, <laughs> what am I looking at? It's so, she's so beautiful. And some people have noticed she like kind of gets a little bit blushy at some angles, like here. You're not wrong, but I also think it really depends on your lighting. Like. In my description, I don't call that out because I think it depends on your lighting and I just, I have very like good studio lighting. So it depends. If you look at it under a flash, I do think you'll see that kind of like pink reflex, but the, it's not actually pink shimmer. It is the sage metallic shimmer or, or pigment rather that kind of looks like that in some lighting. Does that make sense? And when you put on just one coat, you can see that a bit more, but once you build it up, it looks more truer sage green, I would say. Ooh, she's a pretty girl. Benji, oh my God, it's, it's literally perfect. And there's some of our lovely swatchers. And there she is, unmagnetized. So again, if you don't wanna wear a something magnetized or you're running out of time, I think this one looks absolutely stunning. We don't have anything quite like this in our catalog currently. Chameleon coat was much darker, RIP. <laughs> this is more of like a true light sage. 
but metallic-y. And it has hollow and shimmer. Menchi on Menchi, it's a double Menchi. This is kind of pretty. Interesting, but I, I really like it if you get if you want to get really blingy. What a pretty girl. All right, and last up, we've got Cool Cat Mom. This one? Okay, the lab was like, Christine, do you want glitter, magnetic, shifting, reflective, uh, more than one color? And I was like, yes. Give me whatever you have that is very hard to explain. That's what I would like. Thank you. <laughs> I find this one very tricky to explain. And when you see it unmagnetized, you're going to be like, wait, how, how does it turn from this to this? I'm so confused. Okay. So this is me trying to simplify the description. And I was inspired by me <laughs> wanting my favorite colors. I really like purple. However, however, I didn't want to just do one like all purple polish that was magnetic. I was like, what if you could have royal blue and it turn into like pink? So it's, is it purple or is your brain just confused? Cause you're like doing the average of those two colors. So technically it's not purple or orange. <laughs> Some in the discord will tell you this shade is orange. It is not. <laughs> it is a deep royal blue magnetic polish base with a pink magnetic stripe. It has scattered holographic micro glitters and blue reflective glitters. So remember how last year I had like red reflective glitters in Double Dare? This has blue, which I find really just enhances the royal blue angle of the shade. Yes, brings all the cool cool cat mother vibes with this shade. You are, you are so cool if you wear this shade. There it is, there's one coat. We're gonna build it up in two, and then glossy taco. Okay, hold on, I need to pause. Regular lighting, it still looks blue, right? Like it's blue and then it has like a pink line. Reflective flash, which is something that I've previously taught or explained when we released a reflective taco, which is that like silver, looks like a starry night sky topper. This having blue reflective glitter, what it means is when you look at it under a flash from a direct angle with your eyeballs like directly looking at it, kind of like a stop sign at night. I don't mean just like general iPhone flash. If you turn on your phone, turn the flash on on video and look through your phone, you'll really see it. Or if you take like a little ring light and look through the ring light, you'll see it because reflective pigments are activated at that specific angle. It's not the same thing as hollow. Reflective pigments are not hollow. They are sparkly but this one gives like a blue diamond look like he's on the bottle. It's just so stunning and just makes it so much more like party queen royal. I just, I love it. It was like the perfect addition. I tested this shade before without reflective glitters, tried it with pink. The pink like was too messy on the sides cause then it was disrupting the pink in the middle. So blue just works so well with this. And I really like the royal blue vibes. It's just so cool. It, hence the name, cool cat mom. Reflective glitter does dry down slightly textured because the little glitters are like a specific triangle shape in order to give that reflective effect. There's like some scientific explanation for why it's cut a certain way. So it does have a little bit more texture. So if you want optional, once your top coat is dry, you can add a second coat for a little bit more of a smoother finish. I have two coats of top coat on today, but just wanted to point that out for those who've never worn a nail polish with reflective glitter. And this one, look at the, look, go back. I cannot explain the shifts in this one, even to myself. Cause at a hard angle, some of this goes like yellow. It's so weird. There it is with the reflective light. Look, ah, ah, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> like <laughs> I asked for pink and blue and I also got yellow. It's so pretty. Space Barbie? Okay, that's a good one. It is galaxy vibes. It's very, ga it is not orange, nor does it have goats or crabs, but it is very cool. Cool cat mother. See how it goes? It has this like angle in the stripe that there, there, like at a dark angle, that is like a, like in the cosmos. 
it's not even pink anymore. What? It's definitely royal blue in this angle, but it's like probably the most versatile shifty polish we've ever released. Like more than our, our traditional multi-chromes. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. There it is under a spotlight. That's more like regular studio lighting. And there it is on some of our swatchers. Here it is unmagnetized. What? Like, that's the same nail polish. <laughs> like, what is this? <laughs> when I look at this, my brain is like, okay, wait. So that's the, the little pink magnetic stripe bits and the blue bits, but just all dispersed. And it, it kind of like, you can't tell what color this is, right? Because it it's almost looks like speckled. Like it does both at once. It looks more like confetti because it's truly a birthday polish. Genius, right? So you can wear it unmagnetized for this look. That's actually really pretty. It looks like chaos. It's, a, it's chaos mother, it's me. And there it is, magnetized versus unmagnetized. How like weird is that? <laughs> it's so fun. And don't forget to party responsibly with our new nail oil pen, okay? Jojoba oil-based formula for stronger and longer nails, makes nails less prone to breaking, snapping, and peeling, reduces hangnails, softer cuticles, it is fragrance-free, there's no fragrance in there, it doesn't smell like anything unless you think you can smell jojoba oil. Uh, it has a brush tip for precision application, so you're not gonna spill everything anywhere. And it's a really cool looking pen. <laughs> and it's refillable with our nail oil replacement cartridge system. This is just like a really quick video on it, but I do have a longer one to share. Remember to stay hydrated, people. Take home the whole perfect party pack. Not my cats. My cats are not included, nor are their hair, unfortunately. You will not be getting cat hair with your order. But it is time to party on your nails. Thank you guys for coming to my birthday party and for shopping my birthday launch. Yeah. Oh, there's the nail oil video. Amazing. Yay! No cat hair, I'd like to cancel. You can't, you can't. If you've already placed it, then it's being batched already. <laughs> it's, it's already, it's already going. <laughs> okay, let me just, uh... Give me a second, let me just check in. Let me switch the music back to standard stream. How's everyone doing? How are you guys doing? You staying hydrated? forget to stay hydrated everybody oil your nails drink water get some chapstick aggressively apply chapstick <laughs> can't believe chameleon code sold out wow <laughs> amazing Before we get to the nail oil, I'm gonna take you through the website pictures. Uh, we still have everything still in stock. So if you're here right now, don't worry. If you're checking out now, your cart should be good to go. We got, we got everything in stock. We definitely stocked up for my birthday after what happened last year. <laughs> and we've just generally been doing a lot better at stock. So that's absolutely wonderful. And yeah, I'm just really excited that we've got everything going and you guys are loving it already. I was panicking, yeah. Poll, poll. Okay, first let's do a poll. Yes, I wanna do a poll on uh, what 
I want to ask you guys whose shade you think is selling better between Menchi and Xyler. And then I'm going to tell you the data at the end of the stream. Whose shade do you think will sell better? I know I hate pitting my children against each other, but it's just for statistical information, okay? So we've got Menchi Cat Eye or Xyler Cat Eye. So go ahead and vote with the poll. I could not have launched my birthday collection without them. I feel like, who did I want for my birthday this year? And it was my cats. You know who else I couldn't have launched uh, this product or anything wi without? Is Shopify. <laughs> Which this stream is sponsored by Shopify. Big shout out to them. I thank them very much for sponsoring my birthday stream. Shopify is an easy to use all-in-one commerce platform that lets people start, grow, and manage their own business. Regardless of technical abilities, it's easy to use and has intuitive analytics and tools. Holo Taco has used Shopify since day one when we launched back in 2019 to manage our store. There's the map, if you recall. We do this almost every time. That's a Shopify live view map. Shopify's user-friendly interface makes it really easy for us to power our business from the basic things like updating the website with new listings for the birthday launch, pictures and descriptions, to tracking customer orders and seeing where in the world you're shopping from. It's super useful to get real-time analytics on sales so we can see how customers are responding to the new drop and monitor stock in real time, which is really important to make sure that we have everything that you need. One of my favorite analytics that Shopify provides us with is the returning customer rate because it's very important to me to track how you guys are loving our products and that you love them enough to come back to our store. Analytics are such a critical piece of powering your business because it's what tells the story of your customer. And analytics is something that Shopify does for its merchants really well. So join Holo Taco and millions of other merchants and grow your business with Shopify and use my link shopify.com slash simplyanalogical or scan the QR code to start your free trial today. Thanks again to Shopify for sponsoring this birthday stream. We really appreciate it. It's like happy birthday to me. All right, you guys want to go through website stuff? Let's check out the poll, okay? Whose shade do you think will sell better? Oh, that's really close. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Xyler Cat Eye is at 51% and Menchi Cat Eye is at 49%. That's the closest I've ever seen something like this. I feel like generally, you know, the audience is usually uh, polarized in one direction though. Like they're like, I, I know it's gonna be this one. They're usually confident and uh, in tandem with each other. So Xyler's winning. Interesting. I'm gonna ask Ben later on in the stream what the sales data actually is which I we use Shopify to track the sales. The plug is over, but it's so true. <laughs> the perfect integration, the perfect sponsor for me is my own store provider. Okay. All right. Writing this down, Xyler was 51%. Remember that. I think Xyler will do better because Halloween orange. This is a great point. Yep. Cool Cat Mom is gonna blow them out of the water. Probably because it's just like so wild of a shade that we've never had anything like that. Nail check, nail check. Did I not even really show you my nails? Okay. Take a look at my nails. Look at my nails. We've got Cool Cat Mom. You can kind of see like the orange shift in it at this angle. This is my other hand. And then we've got Menchi and Xyler on this hand. You can see the holographic scattered hollow and you can see the iridescent shimmer when I kind of like 
blur it away. I'm gonna take out my iPhone flash. Woo! With magnetics, you can like shine a light, a light from another angle and you'll see like the stripe almost move. It's very interesting. And now I'm gonna do that with uh, this hand too. Whoa, look, it's yellow, what? <laughs> okay, look, when I put the flash more on it, it's pink, but then when I take this away, oh. Damn, the angles on this one are so crazy. Look at the thumb, what? I'm exciting myself. <laughs> this one is absolutely stunning. Oh, I can't wait for you guys to play with this. Look at all, is that green? What? Look at the far angle, it travels. It has like a traveling stripe. See here at the like, on that angle it's pink. And then I pull over on this side and it goes to green. Wow, that really is a galaxy, damn. It's very pretty. And uh, you will still not be able to decide what color it is, I'm sure. I'm sure there will be arguments over what color it is. <laughs> Should we do a pull? Ready? What color is my birthday nail polish? Okay, give me options, realistic ones, please. I've seen some purples. I've seen some blues. I've seen some pinks. And, uh, oh, okay, fine, we'll put orange. We'll put orange. There you go. Go ahead and vote. <laughs> what color is this nail polish, everybody? Let's go ahead and read my description. Cool cat mom. Feeling blue on your birthday? Embrace your inner cool cat mom and let your nails be the life of the party because we don't go out, okay? We stay home, we paint our nails and we're just that cool. This year, Simply Nail Logical's limited edition B-Day polish is magnetic. Apply two to three coats of the shiny blurple hue and leave as is or Wave your magnetic wand to brighten your year with a magnetic stripe of pink, your move. And I wanna give you the asset that shows magnetized versus unmagnetized, which you saw in the video already, but it's right here for your reference and it is in every single listing as well. And this for people who don't understand magnetics uh, or haven't used magnetic shades might also explain like the difference of what gets pulled so it's like that pinkish pigment that is pulled into the center. But if it's not pulled, then it sits dispersed and mixed in with the blue, which is so just so fascinating. I don't know if I'd call it purple pre-magnetized because I feel like it's dynamic enough that you can look at it and isolate that there's a couple different pigments. Like I can kind of see that there's pinks and blues in it as well. And if you step back really far, then maybe your eyes blend it together and think it's purple. Do you know what I mean? There it is again, unmagnetized and magnetized. Absolutely stunning. And the blue reflective glitters that will pop up when you look at it through a flash. Here, here's another example. Regular light versus reflective flash. So the bottle won't look like it has that glowing blue unless you have a reflective flash on it. That's the science of it. But it's just kind of like a fun extra surprise to really make it even more royal blue. And then we have it on our wonderful swatchers. Big shouts out to them. And on every listing, you'll find different swatchers. So go ahead and take a look. And if you see them on Instagram, always make sure to show them your support, like comment on their photos, not just our photos when we post of them. And anytime we share swatchers, we always tag them on Instagram if it's on a social media platform. So you can go ahead and take a look at their work if you wish. the range on this polish. See this one, this photo was clearly taken like with a direct flash and in here too, you can kind of see it popping up. Stunning, stunning. And that's the magnetic wand. You've never seen one before. It just has a sticker hollow taco on the one side and then the magnets on the other side. Okay, let's 
Let's look through the other shades individually and then we'll move to nail oil. Or wait, yeah, okay. I'm gonna show you the wheel first. We'll do all this and then we'll talk nail oil. There's Menti Cat Eye. I love these cartons. Like this is such a fun idea because we don't always do special cartons, you know? Like we will for when it's my birthday or when it was like Jen's favorite sister polish, we did like a red shiny one. But this one was fun because we got to redo the cats, like Menchi, Menchi the cat and Zyla the cat shades, the hollow glitters, have this pattern already on the black carton. And these cartons match their shades and they have a line in them that mimics the magnetic stripe. So you can really identify from far away, like, oh, that's the magnetic one. And they have the kind of gloss thing on top to make the cat form, which I just think is so fun. So for anyone who collects hollow taco polishes, this is a collectible carton and you can put them together and they make a kitty cat. Ah! I love the carton. Thank you guys. Yeah, they turned out so cute. And then the stripe kind of looks like it connects, you know. Oh, she's a, such a beauty. Look at this fucking model, okay? Yes, it was difficult to get these photos. They are not AI, despite the beauty that you accuse me of them being AI. <laughs> Someone saw these photos in like the first email that we sent out and they're like, they look fake, your cats are fake. And I'm just like, no, they're just that beautiful. How dare you insult my children? Stunning. <laughs> it was hard to get them to sit still. That's why the video is really shaky. Got our wonderful swatchers. Oh, it looks just so stunning. And you can change like where you angle the cat eye. Like this, she's chosen to cho chosen to have done the, the line a little more like in the middle of the nail, but you can do it like hard angle across this way. And this picture, you can really see the green shimmer coming out on the sides. It's just like gives dimension of cat eye. There you see more like the goldish white gold stripe. This is a little more dispersed technique. This is more like French tip technique. That's pretty. And that's horizontally in the nail, which is kind of interesting for short nails. I kind of like this on short nails. It's cute. S sweater gets 10 points too. In this photo, you can see a little bit more clearly the composition. So you have the green iridescent shimmer, the micro scattered hollow, and then the kind of white goldish sage uh, yellowish undertone magnetic stripe, but the deeper, more true sage green base on the sides. There's the wand, magnetized versus unmagnetized. It looks stunning, even if you don't wanna bother with the magnet. There's another pick, same thing. And then the brush and the bottle, absolutely stunning. They do come with the thicker width brush, and it is our new improved thick width brush. Maybe some of you have noticed this, I don't know. Um, but some of the shades, at least uh, Crackle and Glow, that were restocked this year, started out with uh, an improved thick brush. So it is slightly different. It's still the same width, but it's a little bit flatter and paddle-like and a little more tapered and more consistently tapered, yeah. Just a small little improvement. I don't think like most people would think like, oh, this is totally something I need to buy and replace everything. Like don't, don't waste your money on doing that, honestly. <laughs> but just for, for in case you're like, oh, this seems a little bit easier to work with, you're right, you are correct. Was the glow last year with thick? No, it was with the skinny one. Okay, let's take a look at Xyler, Xyler! Oh, I didn't even read Menchie's description, sorry. Sorry, Menchie who's not even here. Rude. Menchie, where are you? Menchie cat eye, create a magnetizing mani in the blink of a Menchie cat eye. Coat your claws in two to three coats of this metallic sage green shade, then pounce on it with your magnetic wand and watch as a delicate green shimmer shines through and white gold gleaming stripe takes the form of a cat eye. Effortless perfection achieved. And just a friendly reminder that you'll always get a free magnetic wand with every order of magnetic polish, including the bundles. So don't add extra wands. Please and thank you. Uh, 
Um, if you want more demo, like beyond the video that I, I just shared that's currently on the Hollow Taco page, you can go to the Magnetics page, which has a more in-depth tips and tricks about how to use the magnet, including hovering the magnet on top, common mistakes that people make when they hover if they move it too much. So that video you can still use as a, a reference for how to use Magnetics, it's just with the older shades. So that's linked there. And then let's go to Zaler. The bundle is such good value. Thank you. Happy birthday to me and you. Zyler. Style your Zyler to win best in show. Swipe on two to three coats of Zyler Cat Eye, a dapper metallic copper shade. Then wave your magnetic wand and watch as, as its red orange shimmer rises in full force, much like Zyler's majestic irises. Your nails have never looked so dignified. <laughs> Shout out to all those who helped me with copy. <laughs> Let's take a look through the pictures. So we've got Zyler looking absolutely stunning. Icon, icon, instant sales. That's why he got 51%. He's been voted top, top cat icon. Let's see how sales do later. We've got the dual cat. Got it on our swatchers. I really love this like warm uplifting copper as opposed to dark, like Tax Haven is stunning, don't get me wrong. It is darker though, it's like moodier. This is a little bit more brighter copper, if that makes sense, like molten copper. It lifts my spirits just looking at it. I like this effect. It's more like a, a, a bit of a French tip, like a faint French tip look, kind of shiny. I'm sure like if that was in video motion, it'd look really cool. It's a very handsome color. <laughs> and in the sun too, yeah. The This one just like looks absolutely stunning in the sun. And then you have the little iridescent shimmers pop out and then the kind of copper gold stripe. Magnetized and unmagnetized. It looks like the sun, like J-Lo glow kind of in a bottle. Does that make sense? <laughs> hey J-Lo, I got your shade. All right, let's take a look at the poll because I asked you what color was my polish. 48% think it's purple, 37% think it's blue, 2% think it's pink, and 13% are in the Simply Neological Discord. <laughs> okay. According to the lab, the shade is blue. So 48% of you are wrong. <laughs> It is a blue base pigment at its core, but it has pink magnetic pigments in it. <laughs> All right, let's end it. It's okay, you're always wrong, it's fine. I didn't even do this. Guys, I didn't even say happy birthday. Oh, I thought I was gonna make a noise. Happy birthday to me. I'll do that again when Ben comes with whatever surprise. <laughs> I'm just alone in my room. Guys, do it with me now, what the heck? Thank you. We need the Xyler party. That is literally what he's doing. I just realized the, Z the Xyler emoji is like blowing on one of those things. Will there be cake? I don't know. We'll see what Ben will bring. I'm so sad it didn't make noise. <laughs> I, I thought it would make noise. Okay. Back to this. Uh. The perfect B-Day party pack is the best value, obviously. We had to make you like the best value, all the new goodies. So let's go through this one. We're feline fine for Simply's birthday with the ultimate perfect B-Day party pack. Take home the whole gang of new goodies and get the party started on a Saturday night by showing off your cool cat mom status. That's me. Celebrate Christine's feline children with two new magnetic polishes designed after Menchie and Xyler. 
But don't forget to party responsibly and keep your nails hydrated with our new nail oil pen. Party smarter, not harder. Yes, I am your responsible mother. I am your mother. Take care of your nails, oil them. Let's go. You have no excuse now. And this bundle includes everything, all the nail polish, <laughs> not my cats, look at this picture, I'm terrified. <laughs> my cats, nail polish, not my cats. And it has the nail oil pen, there's Ben, giving a little oil action, looks good Ben. We'll be watching that video and going over that next when I wrap up on the magnetics. And there's the pen with the two cartridges. So if you buy this bundle, you get a total of three cartridges. One that will be your first like use of the pen and then you get two refill cartridges. So this is the best value for sure. And we also made it so um, it was a reasonable price, like not too much, but also felt like you were getting like, just give me everything and like, okay, three cartridges. That's definitely enough to get started or just the nail polish alone, if you're interested in just that. And yeah, okay, so now I'm gonna take you to the swatch wheel and do a little bit of this. So if you have any questions, hold the nail oil ones, we'll do that next, because I feel like that's a clean and clear segment. I just wanna do a quick um, showcasing of the polishes in case I was like too rushed before. Hold these better now. Now that we're a little bit calmer. Is everybody calm? Here's my birthday polishes. Stunning. Hold on, I'm trying to balance them. Ready? Or wait. So you gotta shake them first if you wanna see the magnetic stripe because if I already pulled the pigments, then. I just love the metallicness of the cats. They look so shiny. Ben! Happy birthday, Mrs. President. Happy birthday, Mrs. President. It's a bad move, Mazzanoita's pizza. Oh! What is this? What is Do that? not drop them! Okay, okay. What is this? Please that? don't, you're gonna drop them. <laughs> How? <laughs> oh my god. We're gonna burn down the stream room. Oh. Stream has ended. Is this what 35 is? Oh, too old for this shit. Guys, my face is gonna light on fire. <laughs> okay, let me move the... Do not this expose your spray. nail polish to flames, okay? Heat up your nail polish before use with candles. Okay, do you wanna... fire. You want to put it down and I'll show them a macro? Is sure. my oh god, I don't trust myself. You got it. Ah! Who wants a cupcake? Chat. We got cupcakes for everybody. Here you go. Can you move my swatch wheel and my mouse? I was just gonna. Never mind. No swatches for you. Hold on. I don't want to burn down my keyboard. Yeah, you got it. Yep. Should I find birthday? I should have put on birthday music. Do not, do not light on fire. Oh my God. Oh my God, Ben. The macro. <laughs> it's Menchie. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Blow it out. Okay, should I make a wish? What do I wish for? Happy birthday. 
world peace. I wish the reason Happy that birthday. children no. aren't learning no. how to read no. in uh, uh, America is because of the Iraq and... Uh, okay, stop. I wish for a nail oil pen. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> it's a smoking. Um, then she looks so cute. I don't know about me though. What is this? <laughs> did you print these pictures then? I did. The baker did. You asked someone. Ba baker. I don't even know her. You asked someone to print pictures of this face, and they said yes. Yeah, they were very excited about. It. Thank you, Ben. Was this the right face? Yeah, it's, it's the right face, I guess. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, good, it's, I really like the colors, too. Look, they match the colors of the cats and my birthday shade. I didn't even realize that. Look. Yeah. Don't... Here, look, it's a cool cat, Mom! Is it blue or purple? No one can figure it out. Okay, do I eat my face? Do you want one? I could try one. Are they all the same flavor? They're not. What? What are they? Are they nail polish flavor? The Xyler flavor, I think, is the, probably the best. What is it? It's like a salted caramel. Tuna? It's tuna. <laughs> Menchie's is savory salmon. <laughs> Stop. Okay. How do I eat it? Can you pick it up? Because it's I got it all over my nails, under my nails. <laughs> Which one? You gotta eat eat the menchi one. Well, cheers. <laughs> hey guys, <laughs> cheers. Look, that's, that's the OG Xyler nail polish. I took that picture for the last photo shoot with them. Menchi. Kitties, they're so cute. Put it over your face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cheers. Oh, I didn't open it. So then she's just like a vanilla. Yeah. Yours is a chocolate. Mm. Xyler's is uh, should be. I ate him. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. It's good. Eh? Yeah. Should have given me this before. Then I would have been <laughs> really awake at for eleven thirty. <laughs> you should save one of yours up here, but I'll clear your table. For chat, give that one to chat. There you go. <laughs> when you use your cool cat mom, think of me and that face. Let me okay. take this away. Yeah, well. Okay. Yes, please. Because okay, I, I can't use my keyboard if I have all of these cupcakes in front of me. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Here you go. Music. <laughs> Birthday pop. Birthday 2000s pop playlist. Oh, I think it's like the Spanish version. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's the Spanish pop. Thank you guys. It matches. <laughs> okay. All right, let me just get the cupcake off my nails. <laughs> okay, okay, we can stop the birthday music. Thank you, silly munchkins. Damn, Ben, that was a good one. I never know what he's gonna do, you know? Sometimes it's a giant cake that's shaped like a nail polish bottle. And then other times it's, um, my face printed on a cupcake with my cats, which makes a lot of sense for this round. <gasps> Thank you, Emily, for 50 gifted memberships. What? Is that a birthday present? Uh, my lawyer is here to give gifts. 
Is that legal? Is that a gift in kind? Is someone gonna contest these gifts? If they're from my, my lawyer? <laughs> Thank you so much, Emily. That's so kind of you. So because of Emily D. Baker, our lawyer, 50 of you can come to the bonus Mechie Gang stream at the end of the month. I do an extra stream once a month for members. Yeah, no one objects to that. Damn. Wow. Motion to make 50 people a member approved. <laughs> Absolutely epic. Thank you, Emily. That's so kind. Thank you. You should get your cat polishes in the mail and the nail oil pen soon. <laughs> Just a little exchange there. Cheers to my lawyer. <laughs> okay, where, where, where were we? <laughs> like what? Oh, here, we were here. We were right here. Now my hands are not only oily, but covered in cupcakes. <laughs> we are on swatch wheels. Thank you for reminding me, chat. Thank you. Okay. Oh, yeah, I was shaking these up because I just wanna do another demo. Cat hair, how fitting. And I wanna go ahead and just show you. See, now I have cupcake on this. It doesn't look good. There, I'm just cleaning my nail polish caps. <laughs> I touched them with like cupcake nasty hands. There we go. Magnetic polish. Magnetic wand. It has two ends, a circle end and a rectangle end. And it pulls pigments, oops. It's not quite the right angle to see that shade. But I'll care, I'll go like this. Focus. It pulls pigments so that the line actually changes and you can see it through the bottle. This isn't like, you don't need to magnetize the bottle to use it, you magnetize it on your nail so that the pigment can spread out on your nail but just to show you the difference of the circle end, let me just put them down a bit. The circle end has more like a, a circle, like it can make like an orb, like a French tip is a really good one to do. And um, a French tip or like a circle or like a half moon if you wanted it to be like here. Some people really like to do that. See how like the, the pink is following it around it? Whee! Wee! And then the blue is kind of in the rest of it. And this one has reflective pigment in it. So that's what you're seeing, that like really bright blue. That's reflective pigment. Woo! So, on the nail, it looks like this. But I also put it on a swatch wheel so we could do comparisons. So here's the three new shades. We've got Menchie Cat Eye, Cool Cat Mom, and Xyler Cat Eye. And here they are unmagnetized. So I already showed you in the video, but just so you have them again in real life, if you don't want to magnetize your nail polishes and you're just like, oh, I'm lazy or, you know, just maybe not today. I'll try, I'll tackle that another day then I think they look absolutely stunning unmagnetized, specifically the cat ones because they have more of a metallic pigment in them. And this one is just like a stunning sage green on its own. And this one is more like a molten copper. Stunning. So you can see the color that they are on their own is kind of like the color that the stripe is, sort of. Ex with the exception of my birthday polish, which is just like, no one understands it. How do you enable it? So I just, I showed the video earlier, but I could do another quick demo. Um, I also saw people asking what they look like over black. So let's do that live and I will explain why. 
So sometimes you're like a little bit lazy, you know, and that's fine, okay? We're all a little lazy for some things. And you just don't wanna magnetize the three coats. You can use the trick that's in my how to magnetize your nail polish video that's on the Holo Taco channel, which is not magnetize it, just do two coats of regular, and then on the third coat, magnetize that. However, personally, I find that unless you're magnetizing on every coat, the stripe maybe won't be as strong because you didn't magnetize it on the first two. Like, you can do that, but it maybe isn't the same. So I do wanna try one coat over black with these lighter shades and just see what it looks like out of curiosity. So I'm gonna paint some one coat black because some people use this as kind of a hack for the original magnetics. But I predict that the original magnetics make more sense to put over black simply because they are darker by nature. And once I do this, I'm gonna show you a comparison. I just wanna lay down the black. Oh, there's literally a cat hair in here. I can see it. So I will show you the live demo just by doing it over black, but let's just let that dry. You don't have to do it over black. I'm just curious. Oh, look, the nail oil pen is popular. Ben, this is new. What is this? <laughs> YouTube, what, what is this new feature? I'm gonna show you comparisons. So here's the original magnetics, just for reference, which should also be up on the Holo Taco Instagram stories, if not already. Uh, this was Fairy Tale. Sorry, let me get a little bit closer. There's Fairy Tale, which is more of a neutral, softer, and darker brown compared to Xyler, which is much orangier and molten copperier. Overall, I'd say the original magnetics are more of that like darker pigment because they were formulated in a way so that the stripe is like the brighter version of the base pigment. And these new ones are all are a little bit different and have generally a lighter pigment, specifically the cats. But there's Fairy Tail and Xyler Cat Eye. There is Menchi Cat Eye and Wicked Potion. Wicked Potion, again, being just much darker on the sides. Menchi is like super pale compared and like white gold, kind of white yellowish gold stripe. And more than that, the composition of them is quite different. These had what we called like a micro flake where it's like an asymmetrical holographic flake scattered throughout. And these have some other different things that show up in very macro scenarios or like when it hits different light because there's iridescent shimmer and scattered hollow. The two greens make a great witchy manny. They would. Yeah, that does look good. That's why we need them all. <laughs> yeah. And then unmagnetized. Here were the original magnetics unmagnetized. So they become the brighter version of their color. And if you just want to take a look there. So there's Xyler Cat Eye and Fairy Tail unmagnetized just to get, I'm sorry, I'm like trying to do this. Interesting, very interesting. Which one do you guys prefer? I feel like it, it depends, you know what I mean? Like I could see a different use case for both of these tones. None of the others are really similar. Like even Queen's Curse was a very different purple. It was more like um, a truer royal with slightly warm purple with a little bit of that shift to like a cooler purple. But the birthday shade is like kind of just totally different. And then the green, unmagnetized. Well, let's take a look at magnetized queen versus cool cat mom. Yeah, we've never had a magnetic before where the stripe is a distinctly different color from the base. So Cool Cat Mom will be the first. 
And that is also why she's limited edition. Because the special pigments. Special pigments do not last forever. Okay, so I've got one coat black on these nails and I'm gonna use that to demo because I'm also curious how these look over black. It's kind of a hack if you just wanna do one coat but you also wanna darken this polish. I do think these are gonna get darker. So if it's your nails, you would just go like this and you would put your finger like that. If you want the stripe to go diagonally, then you put your finger diagonally on the magnet and you can see that the line is kind of, the line will end up like this, like straight across. So if you put your finger like this, the line will go from top to bottom. If you put it slightly angled, then it'll look like the way I have my nails now, which is like slightly diagonally. So that's all in the Holo Taco video. If you want a little bit more um, on like how to actually paint the nails, but that's what I recommend. Just put your nail there and just go ahead and paint every coat and let your nail sit there so that the magnetic effect will stick as it dries. Because if you take your nail off while the nail polish is still wet, then the pigment will start to disperse. So you do need to keep it on the magnet as it dries. With swatch wheels, it's a little bit easier to show you because like I'll paint it and then I'll just go like this. So let's show you. Just move it right here. So I'm just gonna paint first and then plop it down. I'm gonna paint a coat, a thick coat of Menchi. Ready? Woo! Do not touch. That's fun. Oh, it's darker. Okay, that's cool. I'll lift it up because I have a different angle than you do. When it's dry, I'll lift it up and show you. It's, it's That's fun though. You could also, if you just wanna do one coat of the magnetic and you don't want like the full dimension, which I do recommend to get your nails to look exactly like mine or like this where you can really see the iridescent shimmer on the sides and it has that dimension to it. If you don't care and you just want like one coat effect, you could put this over a similar colored creme so not one coat black, that's just if you wanna make it darker. But you could put it over like, if you have Matcha Maker, RIP. <laughs> or anything else really, even like Modest Moss, if you just want it to be a little bit deeper green, you could just throw down a creme and then throw on the magnetic in one coat and just do that that way. That's an option. Ooh, try that with Monstera. That's a good idea. Hmm. Magnetics over white? I feel like that would be interesting, but I, I do think it might look a little bit muddy, if that makes sense. Yeah, I think it would kind of look a little bit muddy. I mean, it, it could mute it a little bit more and you might like the mutiness. So I'm not gonna knock it, you know what I mean? So that was Menchi Cat Eye, one coat over one coat black, just, just to see, just for curiosity. And you can see how the depth of the black is really coming through uh, on the outskirts. You can really see the hollow actually more, which makes sense because like scattered hollow would show better over black than a lighter color. And then there's Menchi on her own, three coats magnetized regularly. With magnetic polishes, I really like the versatility. I feel like some people don't realize um, that there's a few ways to wear it. You don't have to just wear it like this one way where I magnetize it three times, although that's the way we demo it because that's the way the shade was 
intended to be. There's so much flexibility and versatility, like you could just do one coat over a creme like this if you just wanna do one coat and go. You could not magnetize it. If you wanna wear it unmagnetized, then I think these particular colors look really stunning on their own. You can magnetize it differently if you want with this end for that cat eye traditional kind of stripe through, or you can use the dome circle. We can do that one next. Or you can do, um, or sorry, you can use the little circle for like a half moon, or you can use this side and create the crystal dome effect or the 3D dome. There's just like so many options. So now I'm gonna do cool cat mom and then we'll magnetize that. So let's just do a nice thick coat. You wanna make sure you're painting thick coats when you do, um, when you're gonna magnetize it. Cause if you paint too thin, then it may not pull. So that's one coat of Cool Cat Mom. I'm gonna throw it, oops, forgot which direction I was going. On the magnet. And then you would just sit it there. So if you're painting your own nails, you would just hold it there. Can you do a layer of Xyler magnetized then Menchie in the other direction? If you do that, because these pigments are like opaque enough, you would actually lose the one underneath. Like I really like the idea of where you're coming from, but that only really works if the formula was designed to be uh, more transparent. You would just lose the shade underneath. Does this work with the magnet under your finger? Yes, that is the main way to do it. So you just pretend I'm on a table, but I just, I don't wanna move that. And then you just go like that. And then you would paint with it on top. Or with your thumb, I just hold it. I literally just hold this in the air like that, like slightly twisted. And then I paint and that's how I get this specific line in that direction. Can you magnetize through the taco? Yes and no. If you paint regularly, like without magnetizing and then only magnetize through the taco, you probably won't see it like really pull in the very clear stripe. However, if you magnetize on all steps and then you do the taco and you, the glossy taco for English, <laughs> and then you do the, the top coat and you aren't magnetizing, you've kind of re-wet your polish, which could cause dispersion without pulling. So I do recommend using the, the magnet at all stages, including the last top coat stage, so that it really helps lock in the magnetic effect as it's drying on the final step. Because with regular nail polish, because it's not like a curing instant thing like gel, um, magnetics are more prone to fading unless you're letting it magnetize as it dries. Not that you need to hold this for like an hour, <laughs> that's totally not necessary, but I do recommend magnetizing on the top coat layer just to make that line extra crispy as your polish is drying. Uh, yes, you don't need to magnetize the base coat because the base coats are not magnetic. <laughs> so there's Cool Cat Mom over black. Kind of similar to it on its own, so maybe that's a hack if you don't want to do it three times. Actually, I can kind of tell in real life. It goes it goes darker on the sides, yeah. I think you would lose more reflective glitter if you only do one coat. The three coats of reflective glitter, two to three coats, helps the blue pop a bit. Okay, let's do Xyler. So I'm gonna paint coat of Xyler cat eye. This is over black just for experimental purposes. Whee! It's not exactly this right spot, something like that. Stunning. Oh, I just realized I did those three the other way. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> the stripe is like going the opposite way. Over black, it looks more like a galaxy, yes. 
Just realized that Christine's shirt and jacket matches her polishes. Always, you know me? I'm always dressing up for the party and trying to match. <laughs> I gotta match my nails to my cat ears to everything. Siler over black is stunning. We'll look at them up close once I pick them up. I just wanna let it sit for a bit. What's everyone doing for their birthday this year? Especially October babies. <laughs> crackle taco demo. We already did a, like a whole stream on crackle. This is about magnetics. <laughs> I do have um, a VOD already up and uh, highlights have been, I have to process them from my editor and uh, finish that up. But there, there will be a highlights of the longer stream about Crackle. show you guys a little up close. So as a reminder, these are the three new shades on their own, two to three coats. And here they are over black, one coat. They are looking darker at the ends, which is interesting. Xyler looks a little bit more like a topaz gemstone this way, like it's got its darker ends. And same with Menchie, it looks more like Christmas tree. -y. Mine looks slightly more galaxy, but I'd say it's probably the closest to doing it on its own. And now let's play with the circle side. So who wanted to see this? Why does Menchie look so perfect? She looks photoshopped because she is perfect. So you can do this two ways. You can put this over your nail and hover, or you can put it under your nail and paint that way. Let's just, um, let's try under just so you can see it a little bit clearer as I'm, maybe I'll do it this way so the angle is a bit more towards you guys. I'm just trying to figure out how to do it on a swatch wheel. If I like place it here, <laughs> something like that. Okay, let's try. So I'm just putting on a thick coat first and then you want to immediately magnetize it. Let's do it sideways. Yeah, like that. Yes! Okay, that's cool. Don't move. Oh no. Huh. That's kind of fun actually. So if you kind of do like a half circle, then you can have like a half moon. I'm seeing Sophia's face in the chat. Hello, Sophia. Where are you? Thank you for joining my birthday party. Should we play the birthday music since she's back? Where was that song? I kind of want to play it. <laughs> Sophia, you come to my birthday party? Thank you. All my friends are here. Show her the cupcakes? Okay. Sophia, I got you something. Do you want this? I have an extra, I can send it to you if you want. We got extras for chat and Sophia. Thank you for coming to my party. A true friend. <laughs> what do you think? 
You want a loot bag? <laughs> I send you the cat's nail polish and nail oil as a loot bag. Here you go, if you want a close up. Would you like to eat my face? So my cupcake matches my cool cat mom nails. And then we also got cupcakes of Menchie and Xyler and they match their polishes. Mmm! I just ate my brain. <laughs> Woohoo, sugar! Stunning. Well, Sophia's in the chat, that's probably on the bingo. <laughs> It's always on the bingo. All right. Where were we? So this is fun. This is using the circle side and I put it kind of half under like this. And it created a bit of a half moon mani sideways. So you can just imagine if you do that more towards the tip more evenly, then it can actually create more of like a rounded French tip or if you do it more towards the cuticle and you want like that half moon above the cuticle, then that's really cool too. And let's do one more with Menchi. And I'll just show you. You don't wanna move them around too much. Like you wanna just pick one place and stick with it. Cause if you keep moving the wand, then it's just not gonna work. Oops. My two magnetic ones wanted to stick together. So I'm gonna go like this and I'm gonna try something different. Yeah, let's just do this. A very like even French tip. That's kind of like the opposite direction, but you get the point. This could be like from the bottom of the cuticle, like a half moon coming up from the bottom of your cuticle. I just got a breakfast burrito. Was it a birthday breakfast burrito for me? <laughs> there are tons of videos online about cool things you can do with magnets and what patterns. It'll take us eight years to walk through all of them. But I've seen people like put two wands together and get kind of a cool pattern. You could also take two of the circle sides and put them like opposite to get kind of like a curvy X in the middle. There's more advanced methods that you could definitely do. I bought a, thank you. I bought a Xyler long sleeve for my B day and wore it today and it's super comfy. Love the Xyler plush. Yes, now you can match your Menchie and Xyler merch to your nails. <laughs> oh my God, there's a detective. <laughs> it's the year of my cats, basically. This year I was like, I want all products dedicated to my cats somehow. Thank you, yes, it's been a while. I'm just gonna pop this off and show you up close. Some of the things you can do with the circle end of the magnet. So you can do like a half moon mani. You can do more like, it looks like an eclipse. That's really fun. But yeah, all different shapes. If you like the more circular shape, that's what this is for. And it really can change the mani depending on where you place it. Or the most traditional way, which is the cat eye look, which is the sharper stripe sideways. And that's by using the larger rectangle and you just put that sideways under the nail. So many possibilities to explore. Speaking of an eclipse, yeah, isn't there one today? Did we plan this? Maybe. Also, don't put your magnetic wands close to metal because they will stick unless you want to use it to stick like this. Here. Okay, there. 
<laughs> but like they will stick to metal, right? So just be careful, kindly. Okay, any other questions on the magnetics? I wonder if I explained the reflective glitter enough. Maybe I should just redo that. So the reflective glitter in Cool Cat Mom is blue. It's a blue reflective glitter that is seen at specific angles of the light. My camera is picking up some of it now because the camera is like specifically going in a, a straight angle to the bottle and the bottle will show more of it because they are sticking along the sides of the glass. So the glass tends to emphasize it. On your nails, it may not be as obvious because your nails aren't made of glass and they don't have walls of glass around it. So the way to activate and see reflective pigments is by either like take your phone, go to video, turn on the flash, and then look at your nails through your phone on the flash. Does that make sense? Like I'm like looking at my nails through my phone with the flash on, and then I see reflective pigments come out because it's the lens is going directly at it and you have a light right beside the lens. The light has to be beaming at the same angle as where this line of sight is. It's like stop signs. So stop signs don't really light up unless the, the, your, your, the beam of your car is directly on it, right? So it's the same type of logic. It's kind of like a special surprise. I just recorded for 40 seconds. I just made a video. <laughs> so that, or if you have a ring light or something, like what I'm gonna do right now is I have the, a little tiny ring light and I'm just gonna put it in front of my camera. So my camera is now looking through the ring light and you can see more of the glitter popping, right? Like that looks crazy. It will always look crazier in the bottle just cause it sticks to the glass and the glass emphasizes it. But I'm gonna try and, and then the other trick is like turning off other lights cause other lights will kind of diffuse it. <laughs> I'm trying to hold it at the same time. <laughs> oh, I can't focus the camera there. Okay. So the glit, oh, now you're seeing like the greenish tint and the glitters will pop out through the other magnetic effects going on. There's a lot going on in this nail polish. We've got the pink magnetic stripe, the blue reflective glitter, the bluish base, and like a shiftiness in the magnetic stripe depending on the angle of the light. Like what, it's, it's green? Girl. It's really doing the most. Sophia said, wow. She's not a regular mom, she's a cool mom. <laughs> That's me. You too can be a cool cat mom with my new nail polish. <laughs> it's very exciting for me to get the opportunity to make a new nail polish for my birthday. And I know what you're gonna say. You're like, okay, well, every nail polish you make is one that you got to design. I'm like, okay, sure, fine. However, for my birthday, <laughs> I feel like I can make it in isolation. I don't necessarily need to think of like what else it has to work with. It's just what one unique shade without limitation, what pigments I wanna put in it, and this is what I landed on. Then I, I just feel like it's so unique. We've never had a magnetic polish like this before. We've never used blue reflective pigments before. And it kind of speaks to colors that I like and effects that I like. And it looks cute with my cats. Not that necessarily like this color scheme is like, you know, totally revolutionary or anything, but on its own is definitely something that I'm really like, it's so, it's like it's a party on your nails, but stay inside, you know, those are the vibes. And then these are a little more like demure, kind of sophisticated, beautiful for fall, a little more like organic. Does that make sense? Why do these look organic to me in like a nice way? Okay, so that was magnetics. Let's talk nail oil. But before we do, I'm gonna pee out the tea and run a little ad for Susie. 
So I will BRB, I'll be right back. Go ahead and tell me your questions in the chat about the nail oil. And I will BRB. Stay hydrated. Thank you guys, we got Libras in the chat. Okay, I'm gonna just pop open the unlisted video. Introducing, finally, our new nail oil pen. I know it's been three years. It has it has been a while and there's a reason. A lot of development went into this, a lot of testing, a lot of trial and error. You may recall we almost launched one and then didn't. And I'm gonna find the evidence for you because now I'm like, now it's fine, you know? Now it's all over, we finally launched it, but I'm gonna, I want to see if I can find something <laughs> and see who caught this. Totally no logical. Uh, was it the birthday? Birthday launch. Does anyone remember? I'm trying to remember my own, um, my own. It was on my main channel. Does anyone remember it? Like, do you remember first seeing the nail oil pen? And then being like, what's that? Is it this one? No, that's four years ago. That doesn't make sense. Was it this one? No, it wasn't baking it. <laughs> was it the mixing nail polish? Oh, it was mixing. You're right, you're right, right, okay. Some people are better than me remembering. Okay, not this one, it was this one. Like, what do you get? Okay, I want you guys to pay attention. Who caught this? This was three years ago. We launched Got Cake. When you mix colors that are more than one color. So this was the launch of my first birthday shade, which was Got Cake. And in this video, well, hollow it. What happens when you mix having in the lab without me? I would have like a virtual birthday party with others. Not me. Uh uh. This girl wants to mix nail polishes by her limited edition birthday polish. Wait. So you want a party, but has anyone got cake? This polish does. It's a special blend of hollow flakes. Is it at so the end? Okay, it's at the end. It's at the end. I love it. <laughs> All right, let's discuss how we're gonna conduct this experiment. 
still prefer my birthday polish. <laughs> Actually, you know what it reminds It's right there. Look. <laughs> Look at the bottom of the screen. Oh, Menchie. This is hard. There's a Menchie in here. I had the nail oil pen in this video because I thought we were going to end up launching it with Got Cake three years ago. It's right there at the bottom. Obviously, I cut it out because we never ended up it's launching it, but it's it's shell. been there the whole time. Hollows. They're both. And yeah, so this has been a long time coming ever since that unintentional leak because I obviously like couldn't refilm the whole video. <laughs> uh, people have known that we were going to release a nail oil pen, so it's been a long time coming. That is not the same pen that we're releasing today, but it is a version of a pen that I've been using for at least three years now. Who was that pen? <laughs> Who was that pen? <laughs> what made me scrap it back then? So we had some issues with leaking and that just being a messy user experience. And we did not want that. We didn't want it to leak in shipping for you guys to like get that. So. We basically invented a solution so that that wouldn't happen. And that's where we landed on the cartridge system. So the cartridges come sealed and that's why you install the cartridge when you get it at home. So they're not already open. They're not flowing through the pen tip. You kind of uh, initialize the unit yourself when you first get it and then you replace it yourself with extra cartridges. So there's zero mess in your experience when it's time to refill your pen you just grab a new cartridge you take the old one out and pop the new one in and this was after much research and thinking about what customers need in order to get started and research shows that if you don't have an easy solution that's convenient and approachable in terms of establishing a new routine then you're just not going to do it and I'm sure if I like pulled some of you guys right now, some of you would say that you've tried oiling your nails, you thought about it, or you just never got started, or you couldn't keep the habit because you didn't know where to begin, it wasn't easy, it was messy, and you just, you needed something right in front of your face that was ready, that was kind of fun, that wasn't too messy, and someone to kind of guide you and be like, this is exactly what you need to do, here you go. So that's what I'm really excited after three years of development, product engineers, testing, focus groups, feedback, retesting, changing the body of the pen, changing the entire component. We're finally here. And it's like, what? And it's hollow <laughs> and it just looks really cool. Like it's sleek and it looks cool. Like that's fun, you know? Like I, I you know, I was gonna make it look cool. Um, there's Ben looking nice and oily. This is actually my sister. <laughs> And something nail oil does. So why don't I just explain this, okay? What is nail oil and why do you need it? Nail oil is sometimes the same thing as cartridges. Or sorry, not, I'm reading the chat. I can't even speak anymore. Nail oil is sometimes referred to as cuticle oil. They are one in one sometimes. You can apply the same oil on your nail as you apply to your cuticle. So it's the same thing. You don't need a different oil for a cuticle or a different oil for your nail. We just call it nail oil because our focus is on hydrating your nail and making them stronger and longer and more resistant over time. But some people refer to it as cuticle oil. It's the same thing. You want a nail oil because it absorbs, a good nail oil, absorbs into the nail plate and keeps your nails more hydrated so that they become more flexible and stronger and less, uh, or sorry, more resistant to breaking so that there's less risk of peeling, of snapping, or like breaking off if you accidentally like knock your nails into something. So by making your nails more flexible over time, it actually helps reduce the risk of breaking. And doing that will lead to longer nails. So people always ask me for like the last seven years, how do you grow your nails, Christine? And I know there's a lot of other things that go into it, such as like, I'm being very careful with my nails. Um, I don't uh, like smack them into things. I don't do like hard manual labor or a, I don't have a job that will, you know, ruin my nails. And that's just a lifestyle thing. And that's totally fine. 
and you know um, but just generally speaking for nail care for softer cuticles for less hangnails for more resistant nails that are more durable and are less likely to break when you do occasionally like smack them against the car door you need a good nail oil and I've always said this so this is no secret and I've always been transparent about what I think a good formula is and a good formula is pretty simple it's 100% jojoba oil which is has been reported not not just by me but like a bunch of nail experts in the community to be one of the best nail oils to do everything I just said to hydrate the nail plate because it actually penetrates through the nails and gets through to hydrate your nails properly. Not all oils will do that. Some oils might look on the surface like they're hydrating and doing something because they're like oily and then your skin's not dry anymore, but they don't have the same molecular structure as jojoba oil, which is more closer to your um, what your, your body naturally produces, sebum, so that it can actually penetrate the nail plate. So that's why it's jojoba oil and not other oils like filler oils. It's also made with vitamin E and plant-based squalane, which after consultation with cosmetics chemists and R&D, which is not something I had when I was making my own nail oil pen in my basement. <laughs> this is a much more professional take, but it is ultimately still a very simple formula and solution. Um, but plant-based squalane helps to strengthen the skin barrier and helps the skin retain moisture. So that's the one difference from the formula that I've kind of told you guys to make your own mix at home. And hey, if you're already someone who's made a bunch of pens and you have like giant jugs of oil and you know what oil you've found on Amazon or whatever that works for you, that's totally cool. This is for people who don't wanna do that, don't know where to start, just want the solution that I've been using for three years. And this is the exact formula that I've been using for three years. We never changed the formula. The original pen was always this. So now we actually have three years of testing <laughs> this formula. And it is absolutely wonderful. Folk, our focus groups have found it um, to improve their nails, their cuticles, softer and everything. The complications were strictly related to the component. We didn't want to make a pen that was leaking, leaking during shipment and assembled pens seem to just do that. So by having the cartridge system where you slot it in as you're about to use it and you have an on and off system, it actually helps improve the user experience so that it's not gonna leak and then you can control when you wanna shut it off. And then you can slot a new cartridge in when you're done. And so we sell the cartridges individually right here. So currently you can get a two pack of cartridges to slot in and we'll see how quickly people go through them. One thing I didn't want to do is like sell you too much oil at once because then it will, I don't want to put you at risk of it going bad. First of all, I think this is a really easy solution to get started. And so you can start oiling your nails in this really convenient way without a mess. No one's spilling oil anywhere. The cartridge just goes right in and then you turn it on and you prime it. And there's no taking it apart or anything like that or buying jugs. A typical cartridge will last about a month and it will say um, uh, in the details, yeah. Let's just see what I wrote. Refill timelines will vary, but on average, one cartridge can last between one to two months when nail oil is applied daily, but it depends. Like if your nails are really thirsty and you apply it heavily, then it might last a little less longer. So I think three cartridges, if you're buying the bundle is like a great starter that should get you like three months covered at least. But let's see how how much people go through cartridges and then we can decide whether like we want to offer like a better bundle with more cartridges but we don't want people to over purchase oil and then have it sitting there because oil does have a shelf life sorry let me rephrase good oil has a shelf life because there's no preservatives or stuff in here this is just the core ingredients that is essential that there's no fillers so it, it will, there is a shelf life of 12 months, a year, which should be no problem if you're buying the pen with two cartridges. You should be done that in three months. Uh, 
Um, so you, you cannot refill the cartridges. The cartridges are the refill. So it was designed intentionally to give you that easy user experience where you know that you're getting Hollow Tacos oil that we trust and that we want you to trust in. There's no mess. You don't have to disassemble any components. Um, there's no risk of breaking your nails when you're trying to like go in and, and be a MacGyver. Uh, I understand that if some people do that on their own, then that's totally something that's up to them, but that's not the solution that we're introducing. We don't want nail breaks. We want it to be really convenient for you to trust our oil, to trust it, trust the system, make it easy and really easy to just swap in and swap out a cut a cartridge. And as I was saying earlier, like if it's not easy, people don't do it. So people who are already committed to doing it and are DIYers and building their own pens, that's great. This is for people who are like, I simply give me, give me what I need and just tell me what to do. This is for you. And while the pen and cartridge is made with recyclable materials, because of the size, format, and nature of the components, it technically doesn't qualify as recyclable in most cases. And that's because something I learned um, that apparently when you have plastics that are small, they can't be processed by recycling plants um, because they're too small. So they just get like kind of discarded out of the line anyways. So technically I can't say, I can't use that label of recyclability, nor can anyone who has small plastic components either. I will say that the pen solution means that you're not throwing out the whole pen. You're keeping the pen, the body pen, like the bristles and everything. The part with the hollow is being kept and then it's the cartridge that's being disposed of. So it's like half of the pen instead of the full pen because most of the pens, if not all of the pens on the market that are made with nail oil, you end up throwing out the entire pen and we made this solution so that it's not the entire pen, it's just the cartridge inside of it. And is there is there a cap? Yes, there is a cap. It's probably just not in that one picture, but yes, there is a cap on the pen. So you can cap your pen. Um, I'm not gonna encourage people to MacGyver the cartridges. I feel like there's components in there that you probably don't wanna be putting your nails at risk. And again, and I'll say this with any product we sell, including like, or any product we don't wanna sell, like with empty bottles, there's a reason why we will never sell you our products but empty, because it's just too much risk for abuse for customers to have an unfortunate experience for people to fill them with something that's not our product. And then for there to be confusion with customer service, like, oh, I thought I was using your product in this. The, we want to guarantee you the experience as intended. So that's also a reason for this. Um, but the main reason is making it really easy for people to get started. So there's a quick GIF of just sliding it in, twisting it, popping it, and then let's go. And let's watch the video to get into that. Don't drink the nail oil. Yes, the last tip is do not drink the nail oil. I like that HT made their own thing and didn't just do a polish bottle full of oil. Yeah, so the other easy solution would have been just to throw nail oil in a nail polish bottle. But I hate applying nail oil with anything other than a pen tip. Like maybe one reason why you've never <laughs> wanted to apply nail oil is cause it's like really, really messy. I think the brush tip is the best way to apply nail oil with precision. And I'll just go back to Ben's gift here. It's just softer. You can put it right against your cuticle. It kind of rubs it in. You can put it under your nail and you don't end up putting on more than necessary. So personally, I've never liked the rollerball option cause like I find I can't get in the crevices or under my nail. And I've never liked the, like the polished brush, like out of the bottle solution. Cause it's just like kind of messy. I want a pen, it makes it fun. It makes it easy to hold and easy to target with precision where you're putting the nail oil. And sometimes I use it, use it when I'm taking pictures. Like I just need a tiny bit of oil on like one cuticle, just a dab. 
because <laughs> I don't want to like over oil, but I just need a little bit. So the brush and the pen style was always something that I thought was essential. It was always going to be a brush. It's really easy for travel and it just makes it more convenient that you can just like have this kind of at your desk, leave it down. You can see in the window, that was a new improvement we made as well. It's holographic. Our old pen or our first pen that never was released was uh, white. It comes with a cap and this one's already primed. So yeah, oil's already there. Generally though, compared to pens on the market, you do not need to overclick this one. Only when you're first priming the cartridge. There is no smell, it is fragrance free. So it shouldn't smell at all. But I just wanna flag, like I know some of you have used other pens and those pens are like, you gotta click them like a lot for it to flow. This is different because of the cartridge system it clicks in and after it's initially primed and once you've gotten oil flowing through, you only should have to click it once or twice to get enough out for five nails. So just don't overdo it. I mean, like you'll, you'll learn from experience. You'll be like, oops, I clicked it seven times. I guess I didn't need to do that. You know what I mean? It's more effective at getting polish out. Maybe I should just show you on my nails. <laughs> okay, I already oiled them. <laughs> I gotta wipe them. But does the magnet change the flavor? Oh, let's try, let's see. It still doesn't smell like anything, weird. <laughs> okay, don't eat the nail oil. Do I need to say this, chat? Do not eat the nail oil. <laughs> it's not for internal use. It's for nail use. Okay, I'm wiping the oil off my nails so I can show you. Why don't I do a full demo? Or I already did a demo at the beginning. We'll, we'll watch the video. Just pretend I've already installed it. Here, I'll, I'll uninstall it and then we'll do it again. Yeah, do not digest the nail oil. Cartridge. Where's my little cap? When you buy a single nail oil pen, you get this. You get one cartridge and you get the pen and it, it does have a cap. Apologies if I was not clear. It does have a cap. You take your cartridge. This is the leak protector to help it not leak in transit, but it also doesn't really leak because it requires to be assembled in the pen and to be like primed in order to start flowing. But you take that off, throw it in, and there's little divots on the end. You see the little plastic tabs. And if you find where it lines up, you'll hear one click. And then you would go ahead and prime your pen initially just for the first use. Priming means like repeatedly pressing down. Could be between five and 15 times just for the first time, just to start getting the oil out. I already primed this one. So if I do that, it's just gonna be more oily. And the brushes do come with a little bit of a glue coating that if you just flex it, it goes away and like pretty easily. But if you're like, oh, why is my brush stiff? It is going to be stiff. And that's a glue coating just to help prevent like it bending during shipping. It's the same thing with replacement nail polish brushes that are a little bit like gluey and hard and you just kind of flick them around and then they're good. But yeah, this one I've already kind of broken up earlier in stream and now the oil's in it. So it's nice and soft. And then you can oil your nails while you're wearing nail polish just by going like this. And the oil will soak in through the sides. And I think the one thing people don't think about is oiling under your nails, which is very important, especially when you're wearing nail polish because you wanna give, just do a little extra pump. You wanna give um, surface area to your natural nail. So find any open surface area, if that makes sense, which could be under your nails. 
so that now my longish nails are absorbing oil through the back while I'm wearing nail polish. And you can do this if you have short nails. You just like run it under the tip. I'm gonna show you the video now with Ben because he's my short nail model. How long does the brush stay fresh? I have never changed my brush and you should never need to change your brush. I've been using the same pens for like maybe even a year and <laughs> just swapping the cartridges. Um, I mean, granted, I don't put my brush in anything weird. I, I don't put it in acetone or dirty hands. So I would, as long as you're not putting your brush, as long as you're applying your oil on clean nails, then it should be fine. But obviously if you're sticking on it in, in dirt or something, then I don't know, can't help you there. You know what I mean? How long should you leave the oil on? So the oil is designed to absorb into your skin and your nails. So once I put it on, yes, it's gonna look a little bit greasy. And then you just wanna kind of massage it in. And now it's gonna start soaking in through the sides under my nail polish. This also helps with removing peely base. And if you're, you have naked nails, then you wanna do the same thing. And I would say to let them absorb the, po the, the polish, <laughs> absorb the nail oil for uh, a good like half an hour, rub it in. And by that point, your, your nails should be thirsty enough that they've like really soaked it up. So there's no need to wash it off. You shouldn't be washing off the oil. Does it help eczema? So I'm not a doctor nor declaring uh, dermatological claims, you know? Uh, but personally, I have eczema. I've had eczema forever. Eczema. And I find that a simple oil, like the one we have here, jojoba oil, vitamin E, and plant-based squalane, has been nice on my eczema. It, it has not irritated me. But as with any product, if you are allergic to something, you should look for that in the ingredients list. This has a very simple ingredients list, so there's like literally not much to look for. It's just those three ingredients. And according to my research, not many people are allergic to these three ingredients. Like they're, they're not uh, highly known as allergens, un unlike fragrances, for example. Like fragrances is like a more known allergen sometimes. But if you are not sure about a product, make sure you patch test it by just applying some on like the skin of your arm somewhere that you don't care first, or as always, you can ask your doctor. So let's just watch a video because I feel like that will probably answer other questions. All right, ready for ban? Ooh, baby. Yeah. Oh, so cracked. <laughs> it's time to oil your nails, baby. It's finally here. The Hollow Taco Nail Oil Pen. Easy, mess-free pen and cartridge solution. And with regular use, our formula promotes longer, stronger nails by helping the nail plate stay more hydrated. So it's less, so it's more resistant to breaking. I keep saying that backwards. <laughs> but flexibility is one of the keys to help keep your nails from breaking. This is consistent with all the advice I've given in my entire nail polish career here on YouTube. Is it, to me personally, it's less, less about buying like nail strengtheners which is like kind of a different use case scenario that I don't think is the majority solution for everyone. But nail oil, a, a good one with the key ingredients, is something that can help everyone with the strength and flexibility and durability of their nails. It helps reduce nail peeling. If you have little like flakes that kind of come off your nail, it reduces hangnails. It makes softer cuticles. It makes your cuticle actually a little bit smaller over time like less growth up the nail plate with regular use of a good nail oil like this. It is unscented, it's fragrance-free, there's no added fragrances. 
is just the three simple ingredients, which should play next. Sexy Ben. Ooh! Simple and effective formula. We've got pure jojoba oil, which is widely known as like one of the most effective oils for your nails and cuticle area because its molecular structure is closest to oils naturally produced by the body. So not all oil is the same. You could throw vegetable oil, okay, on your hands and be like, oh, my cuticles look less dry. And that might be true that they appear less dry, but some oils just aren't designed to penetrate through the skin or the nail plate the same. So you need a specific oil that's going to do that. And that is jojoba oil, which is not really a secret. It's been like widely said by the nail community, by he nail health experts for years. I've talked about it in my video when I taught you guys how to build your own pens, but now I made you a pen. So if you still after seven years haven't built your own pen, <laughs> didn't DIY it, then I've got this for you. That's who this is for. It also has vitamin E, um, which is an antioxidant property, which has antioxidant properties that fight inflammation. Vitamin E helps prevent cracked cuticles and dry skin. It apparently also helps reduce the yellowing of the nail, but like, I'm not gonna make that claim because I have <laughs> really porous nails and, you know, pigmented polishes counteracting that, but allegedly that is one of its qualities. Uh, and vitamin E moisturizes the nail and surrounding skin in a way that isn't necessarily the same with like filler oils. And personally, anytime I like go into like a department store and I look at nail oils and I see like, oh, this cuticle oil and it has like 18 different ingredients and like avocado oil and grapeseed oil and like 8 million ingredients. And then they call it an elixir as if like it's the magic solution that's gonna do everything for your nails. I look at that and I'm like, okay, marketing. <laughs> Uh, because all of my research and just like reading up on this for seven years has really pointed to something quite simple, which is just like jojoba oil, really. Vitamin E is nice too. And you know what's also nice that I learned through this process in talking to cosmetic chemists and R&D is adding a little bit of plant-based squalane, which helps strengthen the skin barrier and helps the skin retain the moisture that you just put into it. So just a little bit different than the recipe that I'd, pre I'd previously provided to you, but proportionally, this solution is mostly jojoba oil and then vitamin E and then a little bit of squalane. Yeah, we consulted with experts, not just simply as hobbyists. And it looks really cool. <laughs> Introducing your new nail care routine starting now. Set it up, Ben, show us. Nail oil pen comes with one oil cartridge and you can purchase cartridge refills separately. That's where the oil comes out. Then you're gonna go ahead and line up the divots with the pen and it's pretty easy. You just push it in, you'll hear one snap uncap it and go ahead and prime by clicking a few times to get it started. Yeah, man, let's go. Press prime that pen. It has a precision brush for oil application, which means it's gonna be less messy. You wanna flex that pen before use and you just place the oil with the brush tip directly on a naked nail cuticle area. Let it soak in, you can massage it in with your fingers. Oil is most effective and absorb best when it's applied directly to your naked nail, but it can benefit cuticles either way and still be worn while you're wearing nail polish because it'll seep in through the edges on the sides. And don't forget to oil the underside of your nails which if you have longer nails, it can still provide benefits. And if you have short nails, you don't tell me you can't do this. I hear this like, well, I can't do that. I don't have long nails. You have an underside of your nail. Even if you have short nails, there's a little bit, even if it's like smushed up against your skin, <laughs> you can get there with this brush tip because it has that precision to it. 
<laughs> Thank you, Stacy. I seriously love that you're so passionate about this. You took three years to say yes. This is right. I did take a long time. And I'm just very proud of, of the whole team and everyone to finally get us to this moment. And it's kind of poetic that it's it came out on my birthday three years later. Okay, short nail people, no more excuses. Oil the underside of your nails. You can get in there, let's go. If Ben can do it, so can you. Woo! So with a good nail oil, you will see like the cuticles will be hydrated instantly, like everything will look a bit softer, but the real benefits from nail oil should take more time to see. Like you're not gonna get longer, stronger nails by putting on nail oil once. It's a routine and you need to make it part of your routine. And then how do we do that? We wanna make the routine as easy as possible for you. So that's also why the pen solution and the way it works was designed this way to make it easy and fun. So with regular use, you should only need one click. And I'm just, I hope people understand that. I don't want you like you flowing with oil. And you can cap it uh, and store it. I will just say for storage, let me go back to the, the little cap. So you can cap your pen, take it anywhere. But once you've primed your pen, good, good shot, Ben. Once you've primed your pen, you should store it this way, like horizontally on your desk or upright so that the pen tip is up. Because once it's primed and like the seal is broken, if you store it this way, the oil will come through the brush. That's just like the viscosity of the oil. There's no additives in this oil that make it thicker and stickier because that would be bad and that's not what we want for your nails. So it is oil that will flow so storing it this way, like, yes, it might eventually start coming out at the end. You can twist it to the off position. However, some oil may still be kind of collected in here. So unless you like get out all the remnants, you know what I mean? Like you got to clear it out, then put it to the off position. Then you should be good if you're thinking about traveling. But generally speaking, this, it, it's gravity, okay? Gra someone's like, gravity, yeah, it's gravity and it's oil. So it is gonna flow in, in the one direction. Oh my God, she said one direction. So I recommend just leaving it on your desk like this, honestly. I just like throw mine on my desk like that. Or if you put it in a pen, pen holder, go like this, with the cap side up. Make it a bedtime routine. Yes, Caitlin, we're, we're gonna talk routine, okay? The best way to get started on a nail oil or nail care routine is to start your routine, <laughs> shocker. But it's gotta be easy and it's gotta be approachable and fun to do. So once you've assembled your pen, leave it by your bed. You could do that, like you could oil at night, right before you go to bed when you're done playing on your phone, you're off TikTok and now you're ready to oil your nails. That's what I do. I, I oil it um, every night and then I just throw my pen on my bedside, or maybe you're getting up for work and you oil before you leave the house, or maybe you oil when you get back from the gym. The only time I'd suggest not oiling is don't oil right before you're going to like wash your hands or shower. Like if you wash off the oil, it's not really gonna do anything because then you're, it hasn't had time to absorb. If you oil your nails an hour before your shower, then that can really help actually because you wanna infuse your nails with good oil before you're gonna get too wet and then they might split. But it has to be early enough so that it had time to absorb, not like immediately and then wash it off. Do you know what I mean? It just has to have enough time to soak in and then you can go ahead and do like your water activities or whatever. Cause water is one of our worst enemies for nails cause it like oil absorbs into the nail plate, but water can split and dry out your nails. So routinely using nail oil can kind of uh, substitute the water and help keep your nails hydrated with the right stuff. So you can oil before you shower, but like do it an hour before. So it has time to absorb. After a shower, if your nails are still really wet, they may not be able to absorb oil. So I'd recommend like waiting until, you know, it's been like a few hours after you shower 
and you can kind of tell like, oh, my nails are dry again. Assuming your nails are naked so you can observe. But even if your cuticles are getting drier, winter's coming up, you know when your, your cuticles are dry. Like just look at them, okay? Look down at your cuticles. Are they dry? <laughs> Listen, <laughs> you have no more excuses. Oil your nails while driving? Would not recommend. Please keep your eyes on the road. However, I'm not gonna stop you from taking this on the road so that when you stop at your destination, you can oil your nails. <laughs> How many times a day should you apply the nail oil? So I believe that's the next one. So let's just, let me shut up and just play this. Recommended dose. What I recommend to get started is apply nail oil two to three times daily. If you think two is more achievable because it fits better in your routine because it's like brushing your teeth morning and night, then do two. If there's a third one you can work in for week one, I would highly recommend that because I think new nails are more likely to absorb more oil, like they're thirstier because they're drier, they've never had this experience before. Um, but generally speaking, two to three times a day, I personally oil my nails probably two to four times a day at least in the morning, at least at night, and then sometimes randomly, like when I'm on a call, <laughs> like when I'm on Zoom with people and I just have this on my desk, I'm like, oh yeah, okay, so how are the projections looking? And I'm just doing this, just cause it's kind of fun and then I rub it in, you know? And uh, that's just something I've made part of my routine and it's been like that for seven years. Let oil soak in before water exposure. So kind of just what I, I said, don't put oil on and then wash it right off. Yes, virgin nails are extra thirsty. So you'll probably see more absorption quicker and you might go through a cartridge a little bit quicker than someone who's already been oiling their nails because their nails are already uh, a bit loaded with oil in, in a good way. And when you're not wearing nail polish, you wanna let the oil soak on your naked nails in between changes. Or if you don't wear nail polish that often, then maybe this applies a little bit less, but like, if you're someone like me who's always constantly wearing nail polish, whenever you change your polish, use that as an opportunity to go ahead and load it up on your naked nail, let it soak in for like at least half an hour. And you'll kind of be able to tell after it soaks in that the oil residue on the nail plate is kind of gone. They might look a little more hydrated, a little less like dry, but the oil residue is gone. And then you can go ahead and, um, uh, you'd, you'd have to dehydrate the nail plate. Again, I know that sounds a little bit contradictory, but trust me, getting the oil in there in between nail polish changes is still effective. Even if you then go ahead and dehydrate the nail plate in order to put a long lasting base coat on and make your nail polish last long. I understand that those things sound like they don't make sense, but even having the a chance for a half an hour for oil to absorb into your nail plate will still over time help make your nails more flexible and less prone to breaking. If you put on nail oil and don't take it off, don't take off the residue and then paint your nails, your nail polish will chip easier or slide off because oil is not congruent with nail polish. Nail polish anchors best to uh, a dry surface and oil would just like cause a slippery barrier. So you do need to take you do need to like take off the residue of the nail oil. So that's why I think it's important whenever you're changing your nail polish to give yourself, give your nails a chance for the oil to absorb. Like maybe your nails are naked for like a couple hours or something, okay? Let it absorb so you get all the benefits in, suck it up and then go ahead and uh, you can dehydrate the nails, put the manicure on if you're trying to make your nails last longer. And then once your nail polish is on, after it dries, you can go ahead and use the method I was showing on my nails, which is just applying it around the cuticle and underneath. How long does a single cartridge last for me? So I have I have a couple pens around my house, so I'm not necessarily using the same pen. Like I use a different one. I have a pen at my desk, a pen at my nightstand, a pen in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but when I was testing this specifically, trying to figure out the number for me, it was about three to four weeks for one cartridge. I do use oil a lot. Mm -hmm.
And if this is a product that you find you really like and you just want to have pens everywhere in your house, like you can do that too. So with these recommended dosages and our formula, you should see instant cuticle hydration and the nail plate just looking more moisturized, less dry. And with regular use, you should start seeing long-term nail improvements. And by that, I mean like the quality of your nail, how it's less likely to break and snap, less brittle, less peeling. And those benefits will take time and consistent use and also are variable depending on your lifestyle and how else you care for your nails, right? There are extraneous variables in everything. And I think there's a little bit of a, a learning curve for some people when they start a new routine like this that's about caring for their nails. If you do any contradictory behaviors that aren't going to help facilitate that, then yeah, like not everyone is going to see exactly the same results. So it's not one of those like magic pills where you can promise something specific. But I think that anyone who's told me like, oh, I watched your how to grow your nails video and I've been oiling my nails and I made my own pen or I, I built a pen <laughs> with your formula and I've been really doing it two to three times a day for years and it's dramatically changed my nail care routine and my I ha now have long nails and my cuticles are, look wonderful and so many people have told me this and then there's also people who say I never did it because I was confused I didn't know where to begin uh I didn't know which giant bottle of oil to to buy or I did buy a giant bottle of oil and then thought it was too messy and I never started and now I just have old oil, old oil so it makes a huge difference if you stay consistent. And that is something I'm hoping this product will be easier for you to do because it's just easy. And now let's go to the next step. That's my sister. Now I know her nails are already kind of long. But I want to point out, this, this is live footage of my sister <laughs> when I used her, <laughs> okay. She had quite dry and cracked cuticles and even like on her skin, like before the cuticle, there was a lot of dryness and cracking, some scarring. She had cuticles more growing up the plate of her nail and she had a little bit of peeling at the top of her nail plate. And after uh, two weeks of consistent use, yes, I made her use it consistently. You can see improvements along the cuticle line. So that just looks a lot cleaner and more like the cuticle lines you're used to seeing from like nail artists on Instagram. And you're like, oh, why are their cuticles so perfect? I bet you a lot of their secrets is nail oil. <laughs> I'm spilling the secrets. It's not just pushing back cuticles. Nail oil really, really helps do that too, like just naturally because it just... It's constantly hydrating it and then helping like reduce its size, if that makes sense. There's, you're gonna have less hangnails, less painful hangnails. Yeah, good work, Jen. She was a diligent sister just so I could get this shot. Unfortunately, I do not have the after shot of Ben. <laughs> Refill. So you can check the window, which is fun. I was like, what if there was a window so you could see? On average, one cartridge can last between one to two months when nail oil is applied daily. That can really vary depending on like how much you flow out, you know, how much you use and how often you put it on. So I think like that's a, that's a really good starting guess but I'm interested to see when people get it, like what they say, you know what I mean? The, but like we've done focus groups and like polled people and looked at the averages and results to arrive at this number. For me, it's a bit less because I either use a lot or I, um, uh, yeah, I use a lot or I do it more than like two times a day sometimes. Whose hands are those? Ben's. These are Ben's hands. <laughs> I'm loving the window, yeah. It just looks cool too. So you can grab one of our refills. They come in two packs currently. And we're gonna see, you know, how much refills people want at one time. I do not want people to get too much oil 
and them not use it. Because I, I want you to make sure like it's working for you, you like it, you're seeing progress and then go ahead and get an extra refill pack. And maybe one day, depending on, you know, what your guys' feedback is, we could think of like larger refill packs, but I just don't want people to be buying too much oil than they're gonna go through in the right timeline because there is a shelf life on good nail oil. So what do you get in our refill packs? You get the trusted hollow taco nail oil. You know what it is. It's gonna be the same every time. You don't have to figure it out. Each refill cartridge is 3.5 milliliters. It's mess free. There's no leaking when you get the cartridge and no leaking when you install it. That's it. You just gotta prime it. It might spurt at the tip when you prime it. And so just maybe do it over a tissue or something. But after that, that's it. There's no like pouring jugs going on and you get to keep the pen part. So the pen stays with you. You don't need another pen unless you want two or three around your house like me. And it's really easy to replace. There's no risky nail behavior. You don't have to pull at small components or anything that might risk a nail break. Cause I did that once. <laughs> Go ahead and watch. Ben, demo, Ben, demo. So you kind of twist, pop out the en empty cartridge. Fresh cartridge, pop it in. There's a little snap. And go ahead and start by priming again. Did we mention there's no mess? This is your sign to start oiling your nails. I can't wait to see everyone's nail oil journey with our new pen looking real cool. I can't believe it's here. It's incredible. How leak proof are the pens? Um, once you've primed it and it's in the brush and the seal has been broken, like it will flow through because gravity, there is no way to like not have that happen. I, it was actually a question that I did have. Um, I think our main concern was like no leaking upon shipping so that no one was getting uh, like oil everywhere and no leaking upon the refill process or a mess. I didn't want anyone spilling oil everywhere or just like all of a sudden it's like, oh my God, <laughs> what do I do, right? Or are you spilling it on your keyboard? But once it's in here, it is going to flow through here. You can turn it to the off. Oh, let me just switch my camera. <laughs> <laughs> One sec here. I'll just replay this while I switch it. This song sounds like oil. <laughs> Why does the song sound like oil? Okay, what was I saying? For, for leaking, I'm not gonna promise it's like totally leak proof once it's assembled because oil and gravity. But we did design it. So at the end of every cartridge, there is an on and an off. So you can twist it to the off and that means that at the tip, that cartridge kind of like came down a bit. So it came away from the brush. But if you still have oil like in here, you know what I mean? Then it some still might come out. So you could try and clear it if that makes sense. Like you can pump it a bit to get the residue out. So that might help. But because of gravity and stuff, and because the cartridge has been like popped or like punctured at this point, um, I, I'm not gonna say it's like 100% nothing will come out, but what I just explained might like help to reduce its flow. It, I know it's, it's innovative. And then you can put the cap on. So at minimum you have like the cap kind of safeguarding you there, if that makes sense, right? For storage, store it like this and then you won't have that leaking problem. Personally, I, I store them like this and I don't notice anything. Like it's not coming out of the brush pen tip or anything. So I recommend storing it face down or sorry, like horizontally just on your desk like this. Look at that hollow, look at that hollow. Whoa, it's a rainbow. Whoa. <laughs> or if you have like a pen holder, 
just put it this way so the brush is up because if you if you leave it like this for extended amount of times a uh, period of time I would not be surprised if a little bit did get through the brush even if you had it at the off section because gravity if you're gonna take it on a plane you could also do this how about this if you've already primed your brush you could take this out sorry I'm oily now and if you save this, you could put this back on and do it that way. And then still, if there's a little bit of oil in your brush, I would just like get it off, you know what I mean? So now this is dry, there's, there's nothing loading into it. And you could do that, thinking. Or if you wanna make sure like literally no leaks, then I would just take a fresh cartridge that has not been primed. Um, because even though this one has like a little cap on it, I don't know if you're like going on a plane, if it's gonna like shake it like this or something, you know what I mean? I think this is probably your best bet though, is just remove it and put the cap back on. It has a cap, yes. The A fresh cartridge comes with a leak protector cap so that it doesn't, there's no risk of leaking during shipping. The second thing is that it hasn't been punctured yet. Like a fresh cartridge, hasn't had that like really primed and pushed through yet. But once it goes into the pen, it gets clicked in and primed and pumped 10 times, then it's like, okay, we're flowing now. You know what I mean? But if you wanna be totally safe, honestly, just like take the cartridge out of your pen, take your pen and then take a fresh cartridge that hasn't been punctured and then assemble it on your vacation. That, that to me would be like the more guarantee because that's how we're, we're shipping them. When you buy an nail oil pen, you get this, you get an unpunctured fresh cartridge and you get the empty pen so that you can assemble it at home. No no leaks. So this was my new one, now I'm, now I'm mixed up. Here's an empty cartridge, if you're wondering. Thank you, Hope. Now here, let's assemble it again. Cartridge. Gonna throw her in. Find the little divots that line up and then press down. You'll hear one click and then you would go ahead and prime if it's your first time. But this one's already loaded, so it's already flowing. Yeah, because it's already been uh, punctured. She's already been primed. Guys, my nails are gonna be so hydrated because I've been doing like <laughs> demos all day long. Could you explain the on off? So in regular use, like you, you don't need to, to worry about this. If you're just leaving your pen at home or it's like on your desk or something, like I never switch it on or off cause I don't need to. Like I just leave it in the on position like this and it's fine. It's really just there as a safeguard. If you are gonna go somewhere, you can turn it to the off. Here, I'll try and show you. So I had it in the on, you can turn it to the off. You'll hear it a little bit that it, it basically pulls the cartridge back a little bit from the brush so that it's not as close to it. But like I was just explaining earlier, if you already have oil like loaded up, it could still flow through because of gravity. So if you think it, it doesn't mean like totally no oil will come out because you have to like unload it. Does that make sense? Oil everywhere. You're gonna be gliding across the kitchen floor. I know. <laughs> How about more pen colors? I don't think so. <laughs> I think there was a lot of time, cost and development and resources into this. And I think it looks exactly how I wanted it to look uh, minus my greasy fingers right now. Uh, but it has hollow already. I think that looks really sleek and nice. It has the window. It has this cute little end that's really easy to use with one hand. It has a cap. It looks perfect. I'm not touching it. I want a banana yellow. No, like, no. I promise I'll use it if you make me a yellow pen. There is no excuse to not use this pen. You don't need another color to use this pen. <laughs> like, 
the window isn't pretty? Are you kidding me? Like the window is kind of fun. I'm always like, oh, how level is my table? <laughs> the other reason why we wanted to show you the oil is so you can see the quality. A good jojoba oil is very yellow. Filler oils or like other cuticle oils on the market that are like pale white or orange or something like are not necessarily full of the most effective ingredients in my opinion. And if you have a good jojoba oil, the yellower it is, the more potent it is, which means it's, it's better. So the window does two things. It shows you like, this is the oil you're using. You, it kind of is like a quality indicator and it shows you how much you have left. Genius, which we didn't have on our old pen. Our old pen was just like the body. It wasn't a cartridge system. It was like the, the original pen was more in line with what the average is on the market today, which is the pens that have no refillable ability, or if they do, they break if you try to refill them because the little like pump system isn't meant to be assembled and reassembled. Um, or they're just like, you can't keep the body of the pen if you buy a new one. That's the average thing on the market today. I haven't seen, I don't wanna be like wrong, maybe it's possible, but I haven't seen a mainstream solution like this with a cartridge system, specifically for nail oil like this. I feel like like maybe there's some lipsticks that do this where you can buy like a new cartridge of lip gloss or something like that I've seen, but I've never seen it for this. So we're just, we're just, it took us three years to like invent this and perfect this, but I'm happy. And it's just cool. Like you will do this because it's easy and it looks cool. Trust me, you will not do it if you haven't already done what I told you to do seven years ago or you tried it and you stopped. This is for everyone. There's no more excuses. <laughs> it's finally here. Yay! Oh my God, my face just scared. My face scared me. Woo! Yeah, write that down. I will prove. We should have done like a poll before nail oil and asked you guys. I know someone ran, went in the Facebook group, but I really believe that this product will actually get people on board with doing routine nail oiling because it is easy. Does it have a scent? No, it's fragrance free on purpose. And that was just to be a little bit more universally appealing with this type of product. I can't believe Menchie and Xyler aren't working. Nobody wants to work anymore. It's true. She's like not even here. Didn't even show up to her own party. Crabs on the tea? Oh, what, what crabs? of crabs. of crabs. What is this? Detectives, I've done what now? So I will admit that um, I, I've been very busy. Okay, trying to release you a nail oil pen. It's been three years. It's been 84 years. So I outsourced the labor of making a detective's review slideshow to the detectives, okay? Just honestly, I was like, I don't think I have a couple hours to compile your fucking chaos because I don't know where it is or what I'm looking at. So I kindly asked the detectives to please do their homework. 
and I will go through it on stream and give full credit as long as they oh look perfect you guys have credited your work love that in case you're like what the fuck am I looking at I typed a one in chat three hours ago and I'm still here <laughs> this is what happens in the caves of the Simply an illogical discord server. So if you put exclamation discord in the chat, you'll get a link to the most unhinged discord server in the history of nail polish servers, of which there's probably like two. <laughs> the Holotago detectives like to investigate what I'm coming out with and try and predict what's going to be released. So they look at clues over years. Did they realize that I had a nail oil pen three years ago? Probably. Everyone thought I'd already released it. It was like the Mandela effect. They didn't know, like, did she release it or not? I'm confused. Mm hmm Who said bingo? <laughs> okay, we'll do bingo next. So I'm gonna watch what they've made for us. Welcome to Detective 101, Christine B-Day 2023 edition. Brought to you by the chaotic Hollow Del Taco detectives in the Simply and Illogical Discord. Exquisite artwork by Spatelis. Oops, wrong song. There we go. What have you made for me? Holy crab, it's your birthday. Crustacean activity. What? What? Crab facts. Soft shell crabs are just crabs that have recently molted, which means any crab can be... You Guys, guys, you're, you're dry. You're driving, driving. You're diving right into jokes that no one understands. You gotta like pull it back with your executive summary and be like, why are we talking about crabs? Why does my Discord have crabs? Mods, mod check. There are crabs in the Discord. Someone needs to check that out, okay? This is an important presentation on crabs. Humans go us. <laughs> Gamers know where that one's from. Yeah, you have human skin. You should put nail oil on your human skin. Casey wrote it. It's all because of my crab mug. So like, this is so stupid, but we, we have, <laughs> I'll show you. Of course it's stupid. So we have the detective's desk, which has like more compiled evidence and then mods just chose this as the cover picture because it has like my birthday cake or something to represent my birthday. But of course, Discord detectives overanalyzed and they were like, oh my God, she's lunching crabs. <laughs> and then this happened. A group of crabs is called a cast. Really? Crabs have taken over the detective Discord server. Coconut crabs have the strongest pinch in the animal kingdom. All right. What is this? Oh, there, I spoke too soon. <laughs> Pillar's given up. Yeah, she's like, uh, I, I would like to resign as mod. <laughs> you can't quit now. We have crabs. You can't quit. We have a crab crisis. How the crab meme started Simply's mug from her birthday. And then people just started posting crabs. Brilliant. A report on mayo and its origins. Don't like crabs, we also have mayo. Mayo can be traced back to 0609-2023 during vacation <laughs> What? This is like totally off base, but I really appreciate the effort. What a mess, what a mess, detectives. The return of mayo, present day chaos. Who said, did I ever say the words mayo? I did not, I did no such thing. Prototypes W1 and W2. So I did show whitish shimmer polishes, not mayo. And those shimmer polishes are not the same as what I was wearing here. Hint. Unrelated. I will say the shame the shade name won't be mayo. Okay, but we need a better name than white polish. Something we can chant and use emojis. Is mayonnaise and nail polish? Me. This content. Fancy glitter horror. <laughs> Basically just a deluge of horrifying mayo. Mayonnaise cookies. A rich crisp sugar cookie. 
that is easy to make. Corporate needs you to find the difference between these two pictures. <laughs> what? Are you calling me mayo? Because I'm so white or something? Is that what this is? <laughs> oh no. Okay. All right. What's next slide, please? Next slide. All right. Benji and Tyler. First two correct guesses. When I turn the saturation up, they do appear to be gold and green on each end. I have a confession. I didn't realize these were in this Snapchat. I know you think I deliberately link things and like, yes, sometimes I do, but then that was an accident. <laughs> that is this wheel when it just had three on it because I was trying to color match like what backgrounds would look best with the magnetics. So that pile was my backgrounds. I knew that was there, but I'd forgotten that I'd left the swatch wheel on top. <laughs> exactly like the bag. Like sometimes I put things there and then other times I don't realize things are there. So you could see that there was three and that is Xyler, Cool Cat Mom and Menchie, but it's so hard to tell. <laughs> but you guys were right. You actually caught me. Xyler has such lovely eyes, want. Yes, this was an intentional hint. There is a difference between simply intentional and simply, oops. First two correct guesses. Oh, I like this, this is good. Tiffany, I have no evidence, but I think this is a hint to a yellow magnetic polish like his eyes close. Okay, so wackadoo theory. What if this is hinting at Xyler 2.0 that's magnetic? Janu jelly? Damn, that was a long time ago. Yeah, September. In September, people guessed. Sussy Magic Wand. Mention Xyler polishes and merch tag. Yes! Okay, that I did per, uh, on purpose. So once it was like time to think about, you know, birthday season and we were past Sophia, I started tagging my new cat merch and the original cat's polish just on my like product shelf on YouTube. It's just the like products you see at the bottom, even if I wasn't streaming about those products. So you would like, no, it's all about cats, cats, cats. You guys go. You paid attention. A plus. Wait. I will withhold my grade until this class is complete. Swatch time. Oh my God, what have you done? You really thought like, <laughs> okay. So I need to explain myself, I guess, before the detectives have to explain themselves. <laughs> um. When I go to the basement, I have a shot list and I have these like little notes for things that I need to remember to get. And it's easy to forget when you're filming a full sequence or you needed like, oh, this angle of this thing, but you wanna streamline your efforts. So you have to think about getting all these shots while your camera's in this position. And if you forget, then you have to go back. So I like to make little li lists and that actually said crackle. Crackle over white plus glow in the dark hand pose. That is correct. Correct application hand pose brush swap. Cause I filmed the brush swap. <laughs> Which I think you can get to on an unlisted link. There's just a short uh, in the new thick width brushes. You can see me swapping the brushes that I was filming wearing circuit breaker. Glow in the dark bats. Yes, I had done that. Bear ta circuit bear taco. I don't know what that one says. But none of this was really a spoiler for this launch, but it was like notes from my previous launch. But you're pretty good. Crackle over mayo? No, that was not on my list. From Ben's spaghetti stream. This is not magnetic polish. He is not the father. Oh, oh my God. A lot of eye picks. <laughs> Menchie, <laughs> she was so funny on that stream. That was such a good stream where she just sat there staring at the camera. This is where people thought my cats were fake. I wonder if they'd ever team up again. Yes, we deliberately did that to tease the idea of cats part two. <laughs> okay, that was intentional. That was very close. Do you think it's time for more attractive polishes? Yeah, you, that was a lead up. Magnetic eyes confirmed. 
Me putting three eyes for our three polishes for the trio. Detectives are paying attention this round. Damn. This is how your nail polish is made. That's a trio. You could tell it's magnetic. Those are the backgrounds that I thought I was showing. I did film over some like gradient sparkle backgrounds. Okay, this is the cat eyes people thought was fake. Oh look, it's the same face. <laughs> Wait a second, uh, coincidence? It's all connected. It's all connected. How did detectives know that I was gonna have these cupcakes? Is Ben one of us? One of us. One of us. One of us. All right. Then you saw the, the teasers, which confirmed it was cat eye magnetic theme polish. <laughs> which I always wanted to do, but I didn't want to lead with magnetic polish for the cats. I wanted their hollow glitters, but this was just such a fun way to like bring their other energy into it and introduce more magnetics. Oh. They look so good, and so do my cat's eyes, which are not fake, it's just a really good picture. I took it, thank you. You should be saying that I'm a good photographer. <laughs> They're not fake. There's barely any Photoshop on this, just like a little bit, to lift the levels. But cats just have really cool eyes. Like, have you ever looked really, really up close to a cat's eye? Well, now you have. And you saw the cartons and Okay, great work. We have a heat map. This is this polish. This There was only three shades in this one, so it was a little bit easier to tell. And then you saw the magnetic, more confirmation. What is this? Shout out to Erica, the Photoshop master. Um, I see you trying to make it work, huh? Like you have a theory, you have cat eye magnetics pretty much confirmed, and then you have crabs not confirmed and you're really trying to make it work okay i think we call this confirmation bias <laughs> detectives uh it will induce nightmares i think i'm gonna have nightmares about crabs tonight brilliant i'm a, I, that's from like the sophia one back of the podcast you caught it in between was my birthday carton just a little bit in the back of the podcast. <laughs> this is a good collage. This is a sexy collage. Can we drink the nail? I feel like such a parent constantly having to tell my children that they can't drink nail polish. They can't lick nail oil. Also, honestly, keep your nail oil away from your pets. <laughs> There's something about oils that pets like want. Don't let pets lick your oil. <laughs> For real. It's not edible by uh, humans nor pets. Christine is the Cheshire cat. I love this cat color story. <laughs> And you saw this spill shot. These were so pretty, like the, in the teasers. I just loved making that teaser asset. Mother of Chaos, cool cat mom. Some people thought the name was gonna be Mother of Chaos. And I, like that was one of the potential names in our list. Uh, but I went with cool cat mom because I just felt like it fit the vibes of like the birthday party angle, you know? You got your cool cat mother and the, the fluffy feline children. And Mother of Chaos, to me, is like a different energy of collection. What is this? September stream. There will be a birthday release, and this year it's long overdue. Not just nail polish, please nail oil fen. pen. Today's Snapchat shows some oily fingers. <laughs> and then they're, you guys are stalking me. I'm waiting for her to start 
selling nail oil because I want to improve my nail health and I don't have the mental capacity to research and find one on my own. So I just want her to give me one. Literally the reason why <laughs> we're like working so hard to make you guys a solution that's gonna make it really easy. Simply, I also, or I don't have any nail oil to sell you right now. <laughs> This was the pen, like this This is the nail pen. I just covered the label. NDAs were signed and violated. You're all going to jail. Real footage of hollow swatchers and royalty when opening the, <laughs> when opening the email on October 11th. <laughs> uh, good one guys, okay. Oh, don't eat the oil, PSA. It's like jojoba is likely unsafe when taken by <laughs> Of course you had to look this up. Like, yeah. Like, of course you actually unironically Googled this information. So did I. <laughs> I looked it up after I was like, wait, I wanna know. <laughs> yeah, don't eat the nail oil, like for reals. It's confirmed it's not good for you. <laughs> confirmed cartridge design. You're looking at the, the mills, yeah got those from the leaks both cats are loved equally this time so far oh Ben can I get a little stock update if you want to make me a proportion of Menchita Zylers and we can compare that to the 4951 we could do that soon now that we have some sales initial sales data from the first couple hours Menchai Zyler <laughs> for the names I had different names for these ones. Like I thought about Xyler Styler was like my top one for Xyler. I just thought that's so fun to say. I think we ended up using it in copy, like style your Xyler. But Xyler Styler was the other really good name for the what ended up being Xyler Cat Eye. But there wasn't a Menchie equivalent to that that worked in the same way. Like I also had the more the Menchier, but I don't know if it fit the nature of the polish, you know what I mean? Cause it's not like there's like too much in that polish. So we just ended up on, we landed on the simplicity of the cat eye and that being tied to the magnetic effect. So Xyler cat eye and Menchi cat eye. And it also speaks to the original shade names of Xyler the cat and Menchi the cat. They're both simple, but now they have a little bit of a twist to identify that it's the magnetic ones. Menchi Benchi, <laughs> yeah. But like, what does that mean? What does a benchy mean in a nail polish? <laughs> Eye of the Xyler? Yeah. Gr we had great options, but it just didn't really work when you have two and you want them to kind of match. You know what I mean? Menchy wenchy? What? Cat eye is much easier. Yeah, exactly. Blurple Supreme Indigo. Is it blue or is it orange? <laughs> yeah, I can't decide. Shout out to Rayleigh, who does these amazing executive summaries and who actually knows how to read. So there's two types of detectives, ones who know how to read and write, and then others who just post crab gifs and that is their contribution. And, and they can only read an animated gif that is a maximum of three second loop. That's it. Wait, why is there sperm? What? Pillar! <laughs> Mods! <laughs> what is going on? Her her obsession for sperm. Whose? Rayleigh's? Rayleigh! What are we learning about you? Wait, I don't know where this meme is from. Crab fact, the crab sperm needs to be saved. Females lose 95% of the sperm they hold. Increase the sperm and we can potentially increase the blue claw population. You know, I guess if we were gonna have crab facts, it's important to have all disciplines, all units, all topics in the crab facts. <laughs> oh my god, detectives, what have you done? Acknowledgement. We love an acknowledgement section. Big thank you to the mods and innocent pillar for tolerating the chaos we make in the Simply Neological Discord. I would like to apologize to my mods for this chaos. An actual photo of innocent pillar in their prison uniform. 
A moose. Pillar is a moose. Yes. Pillar the killer. We don't talk about this. <laughs> oh my god. Before we end, we are recruiting. What is this self promo? What are you, Ponty's Pizza? Calling for a little ad spot? Come join the Simply Analogical Discord to become a Holo Taco detective. Simply type and enter exclamation discord in the chat for stream elements. Hope it's working to send the link or just type it yourself. NDAs are compulsory. Wow, this was an amazing, amazing deck. That's it. See y'all in the next launch if Simply hasn't fired us. Bye. <laughs> Absolutely iconic. Thank you guys so much. That was um, that was a good one. I I don't regret my my delegation efforts. How about that? No regrets. You guys did great. Thank you for doing this for my birthday. <laughs> yeah, how many detectives did we just onboard with that amazing recruitment material? <laughs> like two. <laughs> We'll see how many are theorizing about the next launch. Which, uh, I don't know. You, you tell me what that is. I'm sure there's already been some chats asking. What's the next launch? You just launched something? What's the next one? Okay. Shall we end with a birthday bingo? This was put together also in the Simply Discord. This one was pinned by I'm a Goner. I'm gonna share it in the chat as well. Uh, I do have sales data. I'm, I'm gonna share it right at the end. Let's just finish off with some birthday bingo. I'll give you sales data in a sec. link in the description or not not the description I lied no description in the chat perfect birthday party something sells out on stream did anything sell out chameleon code sold out <laughs> Woo! finally it has happened to me chameleon coat went by finally we did it <laughs> mayonnaise is brought up you guys did this to yourself. You probably, you conspired to put this in the bingo simply as a dance party. Did I, I dance at the beginning. Calling Minchin Zyler spooky and pukey. I did not, but that's kind of cute. Menchi wins in sales. Oh, we didn't do it. Should I just tell you now? Okay. All right. Sales data coming in. First of all, let's remind ourselves that Xyler, oh, I thought it was 51%. Okay, I guess it was 50%. Thank you, Katie, for grabbing that. Opinion poll research. When, when I asked you guys on stream, whose shade do you think will sell better? Xyler came in with a little bit of an edge at 50% and Menchi at 49%. The other 1% uh, don't know where it is. <laughs> it was 51, I guess YouTube like can't do math, it's fine. It was 51% versus 49, I don't know what happened there. Sales data coming in from Ben. Menchi is winning at 53% versus 47% for Xyler. So Menchi did win. Even though chat thought that Xyler was gonna edge it out, Menchi won again so far. That's very close. Let me just say that like 53 versus 47 is so close. And recount, you demand a recount. Let's wait for a week, see how sales do, you know? Maybe they'll even out. Maybe Menchi's just winning in the beginning. But maybe Xyler will overtake her as people realize, oh, it's October, I want pumpkins, you know what I mean? I want copper on my nails. 
At least that adds up to a hundred. Yes, thanks, procrastination. <laughs> At least that. Oh, uh, oh, more data. Cat mom is the real winner. Woo! I beat my children. <laughs> Take that, kids. Your mother will always beat you. All right, so Menchie wins in sales. I will say though that the the discrepancy of 53 versus 47 is much tighter and close. The gap is less wide than for traditional Menchie the cat versus Xyler the cat hollow glitter sales. Even when you take into account Xyler's out of stock period, like if you, you know, control for that, Menchie, her pink hollow glitter always sold much better um, than Xyler. Oh my God. I mean, I beat my children in like the game, obviously, like, <laughs> Oh, you guys are so unfavorable. Like, what the fuck? No, that's not what I meant. Like, obviously, like, I won. I meant, like, I win. GG's for me. God damn it. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Always taking the worst interpretation when you very well know what I mean. Anyways, bad chat. No chat. Cancel chat. <laughs> Gaggling. <laughs> I'm happy that the gap is closer between the children. <laughs> uh, but I will make sure to tell them after this stream that like they both did very well. Menchie did a little bit better, but there's still time for Xyler to overtake. We still have stock, so Xyler could catch up to Menchie. We'll see. Ah! Mentioned neither of them showed up. What the fuck? Party hats? Stray cat hair? Yes. Simply makes cat sounds. Should I? <laughs> Christine, drop something? What the heck is this? I dropped nothing. Only really cool products today, you're welcome. Calls out purple haters? No, I just don't acknowledge them. <laughs> Free space. Simply has tea. Ben makes an appropriate comment, probably. Detectives roasted, detective Photoshop skills admired. Cat cake? Did the cats on the cupcake count? I think so. Simply yells ban? I didn't. Don't drink the nail oil. Christine says she's an old lady. I did at the beginning. Bingo! Simply confused about crabs. Baby Menchie and Xyler show no. Video, launch video takes 30 minutes to watch. <laughs> Simply uses detectives and chaotic in the same sentence. Yep. Double bingo! We have a double bingo. Did I yell Ben? Okay, there. Triple bingo. What are y'all thinking? Okay. Um, so I already gave you sales stats. Let me, is this gonna be too much of a task? Probably. Look at all the, look at all the chats. Uh oh. Okay, I can do like a quick scan. Maybe I'll just do people from the beginning because they've been here, potentially. I'm just gonna answer the ones that maybe a lot of people had a question. We talked about eczema and the pen. Thank you everyone who's wishing me happy birthday. Yay, showing what you got. You got four display racks. Okay, please, Elaine, please leave some for the rest of us. Amazing. Got the bundle, so excited. Got it for my girlfriend. Got the feline family. Got the nail oil pen, got them all. These colors are so pretty. <laughs> Not chameleon coat, she was my fave. Well, she was she just shown love for three years. What do you want me to say? Got the last chameleon coat. Does the Menchie Zyler nail polish box de design match the cat eyes? Yes, they do on this side. They, but the original boxes are black. These boxes are not black, but they both have cats on them. 
which is just a really fun detail. Lots of like chameleon coat acknowledgement. First holo taco ordered, that's awesome. Some people think Menchi is exceptional. Maybe that's why she has a little bit of an edge. RIP chameleon coat. Spirit fingers, yeah. <laughs> Multi formula, bundle for mom, happy use of birthdays. Thank you guys. Have a lot of happy birthday chats. Thank you guys so much. This is like so much more fun to have a birthday like this in a chat. Instead of just, I guess I am technically sitting at home alone, but like this is more fun. You know what I mean? Just talking to people. Stop making purple challenge. This is blue with pink. Just saying. Happy birthday. Thank you. That was a gifted membership from Emily. Thank you, silly munchkins. Woo! Hope my order comes next week. The warehouse will start shipping out next week. As a gentle reminder, again, it's eight to 10 days fulfillment time on average uh, during big launches like this. Talked about different magnetization ways. Lunch break, <laughs> let's go. Picking up the sweaters. Happy birthday, thank you. I'm a cat mom and a dog mom. Oil to hydrate and acetone to dry back out. Yes. I know that sounds like it doesn't make sense, but if you go back earlier, like the mods will probably have this section time stamped. Um, if you want your nail polish to last long, you do need to remove oil residue, but in between nail polish changes, oil up, let it absorb. Thank you, Amanda Jo. The work I do can be super rough on my hands, but Holo Taco has kept them protected and getting started. Can't wait to oil up to beef them up. Yes, oil will help nails be more flexible. So when you are doing things with life, they're less prone to breaking. We already talked about how you shouldn't need to change the brush on the nail oil pen. Make it a bedtime routine. Yes, that's my best advice. Will you have a subscription service for the pens? I, I definitely just wanna see how often people go through them and I wouldn't want people to just automatically get something that they don't need yet. So maybe it's just more on you, like at every launch, you know, to think about like, do I need some refills? Maybe we just add it. Maybe you wanna get to free shipping, you can just add some refill pens or some refill cartridges. So I think like that's also a really easy way for people to like elevate their shopping experience. I often see people being like, oh, I just need something to get to free shipping. If you have a nail oil pen, you could buy the cartridges and be like, oh, there, there I go. Something you're gonna need. Assuming you follow the routine. I'm watching you. Thank you guys. It simply doesn't stop. I didn't mean it. I said it wrong. Oh my god. <laughs> Time out. <laughs> I got the whole bundle and added crackle topper. So we we do have a minority left. I feel like they're probably gonna go though. So that's why I just didn't talk about them. Didn't want to cause more panic, but they will be gone. Happy birthday, got the whole birthday party pack. Just wanted to say happy birthday, thank you. Okay, we just did a quick scan again. Apologies if I didn't like fully read everyone's chat, but I really appreciate everyone and all the happy birthdays. Thank you, Amy, for the five gifted memberships. Munching, 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 munching. Is that five? All right. And with that, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Um, stream schedule update. I'm not streaming on Wednesday because I'm doing things, but I will do a bonus stream on Friday, which is not a day I normally stream. So Friday night and Ben and I are gonna play Phasmophobia. <laughs> We're gonna be playing Phasmophobia. Uh, I'm gonna stream it and so is he. So definitely come to my stream, not Ben's. Be on my side, help me not be scared because I'm terrified of playing that game. But we're doing it because it's spooky season. So that's Friday. The time is to be confirmed because I normally start at five my time and Ben starts at 6.30. So maybe we'll like meet in the middle. 
but I'll schedule it so you'll you'll know. So I'm not streaming on Wednesday. I am streaming Friday and I'm not streaming Saturday. Just for clarity. And then I'll be streaming back to regular schedule on Wednesday. We're streaming Friday. I'm not streaming Wednesday or next Saturday, but then we'll be back the following Wednesday. Does that make sense? Okay. And, sorry, cat hair. Thank you guys again so much. I can't wait for everyone to start getting their orders. And show me what you do. And your nail oil routine starts now. <laughs> this is your homework assignment. Start oiling your nails. It's time to start oiling your nails two to three times daily. You have no excuses. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> okay. All right, everyone. Big shout out to the mods again for assisting with this stream. And big thank you to Shopify for sponsoring this birthday live stream. I don't have like crab cakes for dinner. Crab cakes? What about all those cupcakes crab you just cakes. got? <laughs> crab cakes? If you want crab cakes. <laughs> I don't know. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining my birthday party. And I'll see y'all later. Bye. Thank you.